All righty, guys, we are back. Coach, not in our normal atmosphere, which is a basketball gym. We are outside at the Prestonsburg track meet with Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, and Daryl McCoy. Uh, Daryl McCoy, in the six years you've been doing this, there's been a lot of big time moments. There's been a lot of barriers broken. D&D &D Sports sets the trend. They set the standard for excellence in sports. And I'm telling you right now, outside and maybe even more so of that junior high coverage that we gave you this year unlike any other for the first time you better believe it track and field covered live wall-to-wall -wall coverage yeah we're here in Prestonsburg Kentucky this is a happening this is a breakthrough for track and field it has grown so much in 10 years to people that have help pave the way over the years. I know they have to feel this is a proud moment. Dewey Jamerson, who boy oh boy, he's carried the torch for 20 years or longer, is here overseeing this tra track meet today. Today, uh, Daryl McCoy, beautiful day, a little windy, but as a runner, you love it because it's about 65 degrees, and not too hot, not too cold. So you're gonna see a lot of great times tonight. We're getting started here in a second with the 4x800. Daryl McCoy, I'm just excited. Go ahead. Yeah, well, well you're going to have to teach me a lot uh, about this. And, uh, th you know, beforehand, they took and recognized some uh, four spe very special Floyd County kids that uh, won their events at the Special Olympics. Awesome. So uh, uh, definitely something and that you just missed. But, uh, you yeah, know, this is something that uh, uh, folks at home, I'm sure, is going to be a learning curve, and I'm also going to learn today. So glad to have and you here teaching us. And, Daryl McCoy, let me just bring up the Special Olympics. Prestonsburg is one of the area – uh, areas in Kentucky that uh, helps foster the Special Olympics. They run it. I actually, uh, for two years, Daryl McCoy, I was the uh, person that started the Special Olympics here. I was the, uh, what do they oh, call it, the guy that the speaks liaison. it, yeah, that starts it, and <laughs> yeah. goes, you know, we're starting and all that good stuff. So I was kind of the presenter that started a couple of years. So Prestonsburg does a great job with the Special Olympics. Here we go. Right, here's one. Yeah. Special Olympics, a special event. Uh, special athletes who give it all they've got. That's what is great about track and field is anybody can be a part of it. Um, different levels, different um, um, aspirations, but everybody cheers on. And that's the thing about track and field, Daryl McCoy, that you're going to fall in love with. You know in basketball, a lot of times, you know in basketball, a lot of times there's hidden agendas. There's cutthroat <laughs> things going on behind the scenes. People, a lot of jealousy. Track and field's a family, and everybody cheers everybody on. It's a feel-good sport, and for the first time, you better believe it, these athletes say they're undervalued. Why not getting the same attention as the basketball guys, the football guys? Well, guess what? D&D Sports said you deserve it. There's a lot of kids here who's get, that deserve a full ride. Daryl McCoy, Thomas Rainey said, yeah, we're bringing it to the forefront. It is a threshold. Another threshold broken for D&D Sports, Daryl. Well, look who it is there. Uh, Jenkins coach Winston Lee out there got his crew on the field. And is there any more accomplished track and field cross-country coach here in the mountains than Winston Lee? He's won multiple region titles, Daryl McCoy. Oh, absolutely. He, he's at a man Lancer that uh, I know loves being there, and there is a man I know you hold a lot of respect for, Dewey, Dewey Jamerson. Whoa, Dewey Jamerson, Daryl McCoy, you nailed it. He has been in the track and field industry here in Eastern Kentucky for probably going on 30 years. I'll tell you a little tidbit. He was my fifth grade PE teacher. Oh, wow. That's how long he's been doing it. Okay. And a lot of folks in Prestonsburg know, but maybe not around the mountains, he is uh, Nick Jamerson's father from Sunday Best. Yes. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. So, um, oh, we may have to play some Floyd County All-Stars here. Yeah, that'd be perfect for the yeah. segue into track and field. Yeah. Uh, Daryl McCoy, I, I just – I mean this. We we really took junior high basketball to another level. Yep. Credit uh, your vision and Thomas Rainey. And but, yourself. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll pat myself on the back a little bit. But this right here, I'm as excited about this as I was when Dorton was packed out. Uh, because this really, these kids deserve this. And they're getting, they're getting a little spotlight on them for the first time. Yeah. So, uh, well, as, as we're sitting here and you're getting hooked up here, I'm going to uh, coach uh, 
hook an extra headset up while you stay live. Yeah. And uh, that way we got a, a free headset here. Yeah. Well, listen, we, we talked about it. Special Olympics, they just had a couple of runners uh, do what they do. As I said, I, I spoke a few years ago at the Special Olympics um, right here in Prestonsburg, and, and it was uh, to, uh, it was the regional. They do the regionals, right, and then they go to the bluegrass games in the state. Uh, so they just finished that up. It's about 66 degrees out here, a uh, little windy. Uh, but for a track day, if you're in the Prestonsburg area, come on down, right? You're going to see some of the very best athletes. Thomas Rainey, <clears throat> I'm telling you, he – he, he said, Coach, he said, we're doing track and field, and, and I was jumping for joy because you know how it is. These kids don't get the spotlight. That's exactly right. This is going to be a lot of fun right here. We're getting the last-minute camera angle set up, trying to get everything just right. Yeah, Thomas Randy's working in the uh, – uh, getting everything set up. Hopefully we're going to have some field camera angles, and, and we're going to grow with this as we move along, folks. I know we're kind of midway through it, and we'll probably only get a couple more events in, but – We'll, we'll grow with this. We'll get better and better as the season goes along, as next season comes along. Uh, kind of give you, I know a lot of people, you run track, but you don't really understand how it works. I know when I ran track and field, when I was in 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, 11th grade, I just ran my event. I didn't understand anything about it, but my kids ran it. And I, I fell in love with it, so I kind of understand the ins and outs of it now. But as a kid, I just kind of ran my sport and moved on. But the first event, the first track event of the uh, evening is going to be that 4x800 relay. And for those uh, folks saying, well, what's a 4x800 relay? Well, essentially, there's four runners, and each runner is going to run two laps, a half a mile. Uh, so that's, that's how you comprise a 4x800. And you're going to run... That's going to be a total of two miles. And uh, your goal is you want to get under 10 here locally. You want to be under 10 minutes uh, if you can. Uh, you want to be around 946, 936 uh, here locally to have a chance to go to state. Um, you want to run that uh, around 220, 230 each competitor. Uh, so the 4x800 first, and, and they'll be getting ready for that. And then, and it looks like there's three teams today. This is a smaller track meet today because East Ridge is hosting one down in Pike County, Kentucky. Okay. Uh, so you've got Jenkins High School, Prestonsburg, and Floyd Central going to kick off the 4x800 um, well, relay. Looky there, Coach. You got Ronnie Sammons Jr. in the house. Uh, as you look around, a lot of notable stars from other sports as well. So, you know, the, I'm pretty sure ain't that Jada Johnson – Walking in the house here for Floyd Central right there. And indeed, it, it, it appears to be. Yeah, and then, uh, you, you know, the, the interesting thing, Coach, is, uh, you know, you also got a um, – you got a son that went to college on a uh, full uh, yeah. full track scholarship, Kevin Keithley, Jr. And uh, so, I mean, you know, and you got another son, Tyler Hughes, who's doing some big things over in Pike Central. So, you know, I mean, and Braxton Keithley does it on the middle school level. So it's definitely something that runs rabid in your family. Well, think about this. Uh, Kevin Jarrell Keithley won four region titles. He, he won it in the two mile, the one mile, the four by 800 relay, was runner up in the mile, runner up in the two mile, had a great career. He was a newcomer of the year at Alice Lloyd College. Um, they finished third in the nation when he was a freshman. Uh, so he had a really good track career. Caitlin Keithley won six region titles. There's Coach Casey Huff in the building. Six region titles. Uh, went to state 10 times, 11 times between track and cross country. Uh, holds almost every record, Daryl McCoy, on the female side when you talk about mile, two mile cross country. And she also here in Prestonsburg went to, the, went to state in the 400. She only trained for that one year, ladies and gentlemen. If you know how hard that is, she went to state in a 400, and she went to a state in a 4 by 800 here at Prestonsburg. Uh, so, yeah, and then, of course, Braxton won a region title in cross country during the fall on the high school level. And right now he's number one in Pike County in the mile run. So, yeah, I've got a lot of history with track and cross country. And I wasn't too bad either, Daryl McCoy, believe it or not. You know, I know I'm a little hefty now, a little big around the waist. <laughs> But at one time, I was a pretty good mile and two-mile runner. 
Well, they, uh, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, Caitlin Keithley doesn't. She, uh, how many region titles does she own? She owns, she owns six region championships. Right. She went to state eleven times. Wow! And uh, I, the only person, the LeBron James over Morgan County, Kaylee Perry. Yeah. Yeah. She, you talk about the greatest runner I ever witnessed. She's it. That's the only girl that might have. So obviously, she's separated herself from everybody yeah. else. But Caitlin here locally, Floyd. Pike, Johnson, yeah, probably the best girls runner. Lucky here, the foreign exchange student from uh, uh, from over in uh, Spain, Jorge Herrero, uh, right here. He's uh, we'll get to check him out for Prestonsburg. So uh, yeah, there he is. I saw he was uh, in the gym not too long ago. Braxton's in here getting shots up, and uh, he was in the building. I see coaches in the building. Coach Casey Huff, yeah, Derek Newsom. Well, yeah, I mean, they're all out. Everybody's coming out for this yeah, event. Pretty I'm, day. Uh, look up here, and you see uh, big-time offensive lineman Parker Priest from Paintsville, state champion there in the house. i got to figure he's probably play, uh, throwing discus. Yeah, if you want to go ahead. they Yeah, also they've started the uh, triple jump, Daryl, if you want to zoom in on that. I don't know if or, you have. Where they or maybe they're warming up. Okay. I see on the back side there. Yeah, they're going to take a run, and they're going to uh, start out about 50 meters, and here we go. Well, he's, yeah, yeah getting ready, up. just warming up. Uh, again, I promise you, and, and I know we're going to set the standard just like we did with volleyball, just like we did with junior high basketball, just like with softball. You know, there will be those Johnny-come-latelys, but I promise you, Ladies and gentlemen, you tune in. You're going to fall in love with track and cross country. And just like with the basketball kids that you fell in love with because Daryl McCoy has told you about them, you're going to fall in love with some of these track and, and field athletes because they have personalities. Some of them are state elite level good. And um, uh, some of them have Division One opportunities. And uh, Pikeville, who was uh, scheduled to be here, not here today, but they've got a couple of unbelievable 1600 meter runners and uh, we're gonna we're gonna find out today what Prestonsburg has what Floyd Central has what what does Floyd County have to offer Betsy Lane so this is really that Floyd County matchup of course Paintsville's here as well jo yeah Johnson Central's here as well and I believe Pierce may be here yes, they are. yeah they are uh, you know we, we was talking to somebody earlier and they said that uh, track and field is the only sport Pierre still currently has. Wow. So, uh, you know, they said they try to own yeah. that sport. I know they tried to get me to coach their basketball team a few years ago. Oh, okay. I said, well, I said, we got to have five players first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a start. Yeah. <laughs> That's a start. Oh, and I, listen, I, I, we were talking about all my kids, and then you mentioned Tyler Hughes. I didn't even mention, right? Yeah. Well, Tyler Hughes is the, t the defending but she's not running this year, so somebody's going to win it. The defending two-mile region champion. Okay. And he is the mile region runner-up. That's uh, definitely uh, – I'm trying to see who all's in the house here. I see Johnson Central, see Betsy Lane, Jenkins, Floyd Central, Prestonsburg, Pierrest. Uh, yeah. Trying to see if I'm missing anybody here. Uh uh, look, I see some Martin County shirts there. Martin County was scheduled to be here, yeah. Martin yeah. County's here. Uh, the, it looks like the only team that bowed out today is Pikeville. Pikeville was scheduled to be here. They may be at East Ridge. I know East Ridge has got an event going on in possibly Harlan County. Looks and, like they're getting ready to throw discus as well, isn't they? Yeah, they're, they're going to run these side events for about the next hour or so. And then once they clear, they'll run those field events along, uh, uh, along with the four by 800, the 100 meter hurdles, and the uh, 100 meter run, 110 meter hurdles, 100 meter run. So they'll finish that up while the uh, short distance is going on. The uh, Thomas is trying to get all the cameras lined out here. The uh, yeah, he's working. Always is. Daryl McCoy and Thomas Rainey. Tom Thomas Rainey's a maestro. Daryl McCoy is quite near. He's the apprentice. He's right dang near Thomas Rainey's uh, level getting there. He's learning from the best. Uh, and when I tell you this, and I said this last night on the ground session, 
the job that Thomas Rainey does is second to none. And I hope everyone appreciates You know, Daryl got, got that award, which he told – I was so happy to see that. He didn't – see, that's the type of guy he is. He's humble. He didn't even let me know he got that. Uh, but that's what I love to see. I hope you pat them on the back when you see them and say, you know what, you're out here – I, they got here at 4 o'clock, and they're going to be here until about 10 o'clock tonight. Might be a little earlier since there's not as many teams. Might get out here about 9, 9.30. But to be here doing this, it's a labor of love, and uh, they're getting ready. They're getting the action ready for you, I promise you. And uh, it, look, it looks as though on the 4x800 on the girls' side, there's only one team registered. Uh, so uh, either they're just going to run for time, to get a time in, in, in register for KHSA, or they're not going to run. It just depends on what probably Dewey Jamer, Jameson wants to do. Uh, so there, and sometimes that'll happen at smaller meets. There won't be another team or another runner in that that event. And depending on what maybe the uh, run director decides, he'll he'll uh, he might say, "Look, we'll run, we'll run it so you can get a time, or we'll run it." will not run it today let's to check. speed up the process. Let's check here, Coach. Uh, I think we got another camera set up here. Yeah, you, you got the discus. Okay. Uh, I love it. The uh, Thomas Rainey's oh, heading over that oh. way. So, as you see, we, we've got, by my count, we've got one, two, three cameras going. So... This is, this is pretty neat stuff, and, I, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Proud to be a part of it. First ever track and field event covered live in living color in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. You better believe it. We got the fans piling in. Turn that energy on a 10. They're here. I, I, I mean, I'm telling you. And, and again, it, it is, as we walk you through this, as you're tuning in, as you're getting to know some of these athletes, as you're getting to know some of these programs, we'll grow and we'll evolve as the season goes along. And we'll get better and better with it. We'll, we'll, under, we'll understand what camera angles are the best. Uh, we'll, we'll probably throw in some interviews. We'll probably have a D&D sports tent at, at some point where the runners will come on in and, and uh, uh, interview post run. Uh, so this is about the runners, the fanfare. These kids look back and they look over the years. I know that's how my son felt at times. I know how that's how my daughter felt at times. You know, they do these big pep rallies. They'll, they'll, the bus ride home when they were in region, the police will be escorting them. Well, guess what? I don't know how many times my daughter Caitlin, my son, uh, or Tyler, they won a, a combined 12 region championships and went to state uh, somewhere near 18 times combined. And there was no parade. There was no escort with the police. There was no live coverage. Well, guess what? You're getting the coverage now. And what does that do also? That puts pressure on the community that puts pressure on the school administration to say you know what we got to rise to the occasion with these track and field athletes because you know what they mean just as much as the basketball players they mean just as much as the baseball players they mean just as much as the football players Daryl McCoy yeah they uh you know th this is a thing coaches uh right now we're we're getting set up with the sport and uh you know soon uh you know we'll have where we can have people at each event and they can uh take and give us times yeah and, you know all the uh like on the triple jump the distances and right. all that so uh you know ho hopefully the coaches work with us here and uh you know they pass them along right. uh, quite a bit so. yeah and and what here's what i like we've got a great setup ladies and gentlemen for the mile We've got a great setup for the 4x800, four the 400 run, the 300-meter hurdles. Depending on how many, again, because it's a smaller track event today, there's going to be some events not ran. Uh, but we're set up perfect for the long-distance runs. You're going to get it from angle to angle. We're going to get you the wide 
uh, uh, wide view will get you the close up of the leaders. So those that mile, two mile, 800 mile run, the 400. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exciting. I mean that that's the star that's the star events, along with that 110 meter hurdles, the 100 meter run, and and again we'll get to know some of these athletes. Normally, ladies and gentlemen, because I follow it so closely, I could tell you off the bat who your top runners are, but uh, this year uh, was not heavily involved with track, uh, cross country, yes. So more so long distance, but we'll get to know these. We'll get to know some of these short distance runners sh soon enough. And I, sh I assure you, when we come back, we'll give you the top four or five runners in each each division, each class. And that's another thing, a part of it, ladies and gentlemen. Just so you know, track, unlike basketball, basketball has one cl class championship. In track and field, you've got 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A. And it's a little different. It's not the 1A teams here just in the 15th region. It's 1A teams throughout. So it's Prestonsburg, Pikeville, Pierce, uh, Morgan County. Um, uh, so it, it, that 1A, comp, how they comprise it, is different so a little different than basketball or football the 1a spread out the 2a spread out 3a spread out pierced is 1a prestonsburg is 1a johnson central should be th uh, 4a might have moved up 4a in track sometimes it's a little different so they may have moved up 4a in track they were 3a uh, floyd central is 2a in track um it, it, sometimes it works a little different. Johnson Central bounces between two, three, and four every uh, every couple of years. Uh, so uh, you're getting a lot of Class A team. Betsy Lane's Class A in track, in basketball. We're we're a little. Uh, I believe there was was it five thirty start or six today, Daryl? I I'm not sure uh, what they had. The uh, Thomas was uh, in charge of it. The uh, and I'd say whatever, we're behind the schedule right now. I think we're a little behind, but I don't think Prestonburg has hosted very many events this year. The, uh, uh, how about uh, Betsy Lane's Kim Akers uh, signing with Alice Lloyd today? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Daryl McCoy? Did we not say it? Yep. Is she not a college talent? Yep. Now, now she just needs to combine what? That college talent with, with work ethic. commitment, <laughs> yep. work ethic, dedication, passion. And she can be a – Big time player for them. We got a, a few comments here, Coach. Yeah. Uh, right now we got Wendy Crowder says, glad to see these athletes getting some publicity and recognition. And Caitlin Keithley says, multiple records at other schools as well. <laughs> she don't, yeah, Except you're right. the mile, two mile, 800, 400 record all at Prestonsburg. And uh, said uh, multiple ones, the other ones. Uh, we got Eva Bevan says, go Carly Williams. So Carly Williams in yeah, it. Yeah, good so, runner. The, uh, definitely some names that people will know uh, around the mountains in it as, uh, you know, everybody's warming up, trying to get started right now. And, you Car know. Yeah. Carly Williams, really good long-distance runner, and uh, she's probably the best long-distance runner in Floyd County right now. So watch that when Bet she play, uh, runs for Betsy Lane, um, and that'll be later in the evening in the 1,600-meter run. Carly Williams is a name to remember on the female side. Right now you see some uh, Floyd Central kids uh, warming up on the hurdles over there. That's got to be uh, a, a Jamison. He looks exactly like Dewey <laughs> in the red shirt, Daryl McCoy. Where at? Right here, right in front yeah, of him. He is. Yeah. I think that's his son. Is it? Okay. One of them, yeah. Yeah, one of them. Uh, he, he is identical to him. Um, again, you're, you're saying, yeah, is there a better day for track and field? No, there's not. I mean, a little windy. Other than that, perfect day for track and field. Um, they're, here they go. They're setting yeah. up the first call, 4 by 800 meter relay. And boys. Now, where will they do that at? The 4 by 8 will start here. It will end here. Well, well I got a question. With these hurdles in the way, how are they going to? They'll run them. 
inside they'll move maybe that well I tell you what because they only have one team for the girls they'll um, not move those hurdles they might move the last set of hurdles so they'll keep those hurdles in place so they can go right into the 110 meter hurdle event so I got a question now when you come around uh, uh, the turn does it benefit you like horse racing to be on the inside yeah or? so what they do is they'll go by best times the best yeah. time gets that inner lane and uh, what you do is you got to stay in your lane for the first 50 to 100 meters and then you can cut Depends on where that first coach is going to be. See, uh, see uh, three-point sharpshooter over there, Kylie Kenner in the house. Oh, yeah. And she's got cleats on, so what's that I mean she does? Looks like she'll either be uh, – and, again, they'll run it for long distance as well. But normally you'll have cleats for short distance. Okay. Hurdles. Um, so uh, looking at the 4 by 800 meter and the girls, it looks like there's one – Let me see. It looks like there's one team. Oh yeah, the relays. That that's the one I like. That's where you. That's where you hand off the baton. I'm gonna sound like a like a uh, novice fan here, but that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get somebody something to communicate with. This is a great event to start. You see them lined up. So there's only one girls team, and the reason that they're running, they're not running against the boys. But yeah, if you're competitive, you are. They're running to just get their time registered for KHSAAA. Okay, so they want to have that number one seed going into region. So they're not running against anybody. They, there's not another team. Now, the boys, it looks like they have two teams. Uh, so they're going to run this inner gender today uh, to get it out of the way quickly. So Daryl McCoy and Thomas Rainey may not be here uh, till 10 o'clock tonight. Okay. That's always a good thing. Uh, so we're getting ready to start with the 4 by 800 Again, folks, what is that? That's a two-mile run, team run. Each runner runs two laps. And you want to get that time under 2.30 or better. And we're going to see where we're at. I'll try to keep the time on this for each runner. We've got Floyd Central. We've got Prestonsburg. And we've got Floyd Central girls running. Darrell McCoy, we're off and running. Yes, sir. The first event covered. I believe by any me media news source ever. Yeah, I don't. I don't know any. You know, we went and we've took pictures and uh, uh, highlights and some before, but we've never covered one. And uh, this is this is definitely a groundbreaking <laughs> moment for D and D sports. You you nailed it. Groundbreaking, and again, setting the trend and setting the mm -hmm. bar like we always do. We're about ten seconds. Again. Floyd oh, Central. There, Coach. Casey Huff and Winston Lee standing on the inner circle. Floyd Central, Prestonsburg boys. And all right, here we go. Again, they'll run two laps, hand the baton off, and usually the two fastest runners is the first runner and the fourth runner. So you want to get a good start and you want to yeah. get a good finish. Again, this is the 4 by 800. The girls, again, ladies and gentlemen, they're just running for time. And points, by the way. This counts as points. So they'll get first place no matter what. They'll get... Uh, now it looks like Prestonsburg in the lead. Or is that Floyd Central? I can't tell. It looks like Floyd Central, maybe. It, Coming around the curve, I'm trying to look at their logo. That's Prestonsburg, I believe. Yeah, yeah Prestonsburg, Prestonsburg is in the lead. They've got about they what? Pro, about a 25 meter run, a tw 25 meter lead. Let's see where he's at on his first lap. You, you don't have the names of these kids, do you? I, not on the relay. At 108. Yeah, 108. Yeah, Floyd Central kid. Uh, he's yeah, he's extending the lead. 115. Pretty good first lap for both of them. Now, nah, here's the Floyd Central kid. He's falling behind there, but Prestonsburg kid's putting a little length on him, Coach. Yeah, he's up, what, 80, 90 meters? Yep. Uh, for the female, 135, first lap. They're going to hand off here, ladies and gentlemen. Again, 4 by 800 is what? Each runner's running an 800-meter run. 800 meters is a half of a mile. So they'll hand out. 
Yep. They'll hand off this time around. Getting ready to hand off. And why is the, you ask, ladies and gentlemen, why are the hurdles in the way? Well, they keep those there because they want to go right into the 110 meter hurdle uh, race. So those are set up, ready to go. Dewey's been doing this a long time. He says, let's get it and go. He's got a pretty, he, he this is going to turn out to be a good uh, first leg of it, Daryl. He's going to be at two. Get a clean handoff here, Coach. 220. 220. There it is, Jorge Herrero. That was a, uh, a solid first leg. 220, two minutes and 20 seconds he ran that half a mile, folks. Now, Jorge Herrero, you know, he's the foreign exchange student from Spain for Prestonsburg, and uh, he's looking pretty sharp on it. Here goes the, uh, here goes Floyd Central. 246, 246. So they've got some work to do, Daryl. I'll give you a little uh, tidbit about Jorge Herrero. He is a foreign exchange student, and his, uh, his parents here in America is Corey Thacker. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Yeah. Assistant coach for Prestonsburg High School. So here comes here. Herrera around the corner. Her first leg for Floyd Central was 315. Again, it's tough, Daryl, when you're not ha you don't have any competition to push you. Yeah, I agree. But they're going to get those first. Uh, they're going to get first place points no matter what. So they're shooting for that first place tonight. Looked like he was at a minute 15 or so. No, this is the second runner of the Floyd Central. Or she's still in the first. The girls. Yeah, yeah she, this is the second runner of the girls. Here comes your man around. And that, that was my fault, folks. Here we go. Uh, Jorge, is that his name? Jorge Herrera. Jorge looks like he's going to be about a minute 40. Next leg. They've extended it, Daryl. Right now, they're at 417. First, first call. First call for the boys 110 meter hurdles and girls. They give three calls. First call, second call, third call. There's Herrero coming down the home stretch. Yeah, I like that sprint on that turn. That's what you gotta do. Creating space. That's the way to finish. That's the way to finish your run. Now we're in the third leg here. Now there's Josh Allen, also a Prestonsburg basketball player. Five minute mark, five minute mark. You want to finish this in the uh, low nines. We'll see if they can get there. Low nines will be a regional regional contender. Can you hear me, Coach? I can hear you. All right, there we go. Oh, we got the mic on. I was wondering yeah. How, yeah. how I was hearing him so easily. Turn easy. me up a little bit, Tom. Turn me up a little yeah. bit. There you go. Yeah. Four by 800, Daryl. Uh, Keep moving. Prestonsburg surprised me a little bit. I didn't expect this time, again, that's why you don't athlete watch. I didn't expect this this time out of those guys out of the gate. Uh, but they have a shot to get in the uh, low nines. Well, here comes Josh Allen around the, the uh, close stretch here. This is his first time around, if I'm not mistaken. He's got one more lap, Josh Allen. And they'll be handed off to the fourth runner. All right, here we go. He's he they uh Prestonburg has a shot of lapping uh Floyd Central here on this last runner. Uh, they're gonna have one more runner, they might actually lap Floyd Central. Again, it's a just sometimes it's just about points, folks. There, there's a lot of schematics. Here we go. They're trying to get times and points, but there's a lot of creativity involved in winning region championships in track. So it ain't always about how good a team is, how fast a team is. It's about how many events you can put your team in in Eastern Kentucky just to get points. 
Lead Central on the turn. Now will he hand off this time around to Lead Central? No, I think he's got one more. He's got one more, and I think they may, they have a small, slight chance, Prestonsburg does, of lapping Floyd Central. Uh, you know this kid can run. He's ready to go. He pulled off his hoodie the last <laughs> 10 seconds right before he yeah. <laughs> This is Josh Allen coming down the stretch Here for we the go. final handoff. They're at seven. They're going to be at 725 when he hands off. Go with it, young fella. Clean handoff. Go with it, young fella. Under 10. Uh, go ahead and uh, predict where we see a lap here. Will we, he lap we here? will see a lap. He is going to lap him. What do you think, Daryl? He's about ah, 90 meters away. From the looks of it, it looks like I don't know the, uh, about the uh, fourth runner for Floyd Central, well, how strong he is. Normally, traditionally, right, he'll be maybe the best. So if you don't, if you don't close the gap here, he probably won't. Yeah. Yeah, he might not get him, Daryl. Final call, boys and girls long jump. Got long jump and hurdles coming after this. Here we go. He <laughs> Floyd Central there. He's ready to go though. See the handoff here. Floyd Central's gonna be at 825 on the handoff. Ronnie Sammons Jr. takes the handoff. He's off to the races, coach. The, I don't know you're gonna lap him now yeah, with Ronnie Sammons with the baton. You're not gonna lap him. He, he's called not called the microwave for nothing. <laughs> no. Eight 839. Under 10, under 10. I'm back to my cross. I'm yeah. ready to cheer them on, Darrell McCoy. <laughs> That's what it's about, Coach. You yeah. know, you want to, you want to, we want to bring that same excitement we do in on the uh, hardwood to the track and field. Yeah, that's what that's what keeps people watching and keeps people excited and uh, makes people want to learn about the sport. Ronnie Sammons, for folks who don't know, I don't know if it's Daryl or Thomas that dubbed him the microwave. Thomas. Uh, boy, oh boy, I, I got a chance to watch him up close and personal for the first time this year. He is indeed. The microwave. He's an elite scorer. He is at mid range. Yep. Yeah, he he can score on anybody. He can give you 25 plus on. I mean, on any given night. And remember, we have the girls running, but they're only running for points and time. They have no competition, so they're going to get first place automatically today. Ronnie Simmons Jr. Now here comes the Prestonsburg kid. Final lap. If anybody knows his name, feel free to put it in the section below, Coach. He's turning it up. He, he is turning it up. Yep. He's at 942. He's going to get under 10. That's going to be a solid run today. You better believe it. Closing all the way in. Run all the way through. 950. 950. Oh, yeah. Turn that energy up. Good time. Good solid time. That will probably put them third, fourth in the region. On relay. Oh, let's go back over here and check on Ronnie Sammons. She, oh, watch out now, Ronnie. You've got the young lady hot on his heels. Yep. Kevin Keith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hear you, Thomas Rainey. He's probably somewhere over around the pit. Yeah, I don't think he can hear us. Okay. Yeah, he's, uh, well. Here we go, Ronnie Sammons. It, 18 feet, one inch. Ronnie Sam Okay, Th Thomas undoubtedly is over there. So as soon as Ronnie Sammons so closes this, we'll switch over to Thomas. Nice, strong finish yep. uh, for Ronnie. That's what you like to see. You compete, even though what? You know you're going to finish second. He's still competing. That's why he's a winner. 10.53. There he goes. Ronnie Sammons Jr. with a 10.53. Yeah, that team and finished 10.53. Girls going to finish in the 11s. Well, there we got the discus going. No, they're, excuse me, they're going to finish about 12.30, the girls. We're going to switch over. The girls have got first place, ladies and gentlemen, so no need to worry about what Floyd Central's doing. They're going to get about 12.30. Even over here. Where is Thomas? Oh, I see him. He's right there at the discus. Third and final call. Can you all hear me? I yep. can hear you. Have we moved over? Yeah, we're over here at the okay. discus now with Thomas. Uh, Oh, who was it? Nice throw there, Coach. Boys, 
What? Mm. Coach, I'll tell you, they're tuning in. If you've got a roster there, Kevin. Three ducks yeah, in the shot put. I'm going to look here. Josh Frazier says, hey, Coach Keithley. What's going on, brother? We're ready to go. Yep. Terry Ison says, come on, Ronnie. Let's get it. Way to give recognition to other sports, Jason Blair says. Love these events. Hey, you want to switch real quick while she finish? Yeah. We got the finish to the girls here. Again, they're going to get first place by default. She's going to finish. Oh, she's. Yeah, 12.33. 12.33. Good, we, good time. Do we know her name, Coach? Kaylee Hall. Okay. Kaylee Hall. Let us know if that's right. Thomas Rainey, I'm looking for the roster. Monica Joe Moore Lucas says, go Hunter uh, Clatworth from Floyd Central. Dennis Nareem Fight says, I think it's a wonderful idea. Too many uh, different sports and athletes get too little recognition after working hard for months and months. Well, I tell you what, uh, Natalie Fight. Uh, it's definitely one of them girls rocking the softball world right now. Uh, we had Belfry game another day. We we come in part one reason wanted to watch Natalie, and she wasn't there. So hopefully we get out there soon to watch her. But uh, you know, as as we're finishing up uh, basketball, uh, we're going to be doing uh, softball, baseball, track and field. We're like you, uh, Mr. Fight. We want to make sure that these kids get recognition as well. Discus throw. We've got quite a few. Uh, on the boys' side, are we on boys right now? Caitlin Keithley says everyone will just move into the first lane. Dylan Williams got Bobcat fans on here cheering him on. Josh Frazier is in the house watching from behind us, he says. We're throwing shot put. Threw around. Yeah. What Thomas say? Uh, I believe you said turn around, right? Where's Thomas at? Oh, he's down there at the uh, high jump. Oh, yeah. Okay. The long jump. There we go. There he is. Yeah. Hey, this is great. And he got him that great view. Yeah. Neat. Let me go back to the long jump. I, I was looking uh, discus. Everybody cheering on Dylan Williams. He's got a loaded fan base here. We've got Brody Buck. Has he already here jumped? Here comes. Look, Coach. Nice. Right in the house. I don't know who that was, but Thomas is. Uh, Thomas has got a great view. Yeah, that was a great view. I think that was a Pierrest jumper there. So here you go, Coach. Look. Right here. Nice. That's a female runner. Uh, Floyd Central. Yeah. Jumper. That, that looks like Cameron Shannon, maybe. Could be wrong, but I think that might be Cameron Shannon. Is she a long jumper? That's the intro. Hey, uh, Amelia Wallace, Lauren Gearhart, Kaylee Mar uh, Marcellette, Layla Peterson, Sloan Acres for Floyd Central, uh, Prestonsburg, Ariana Morris. We got Lakin Ward for Betsy Lane, Zoe Jordan for Paintsville, uh, Julia Vernucci for Paintsville, Carly Williams, Betsy Lane, Kathleen Baldwin, Kat Baldwin for Paintsville, uh, Lindsey Stratton, uh, Prestonsburg, Paisley Acres, Prestonsburg, and Jada Reynolds for Betsy Lane at the female jumpers. If you hear some uh, feedback in our microphones, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, a little windy today. Yeah. We're getting ready here. We're going mail now. Nice. Nice jump there. Nice form. And for the boys, uh, long jump Daryl McCoy. We got Brody Buck from Floyd Central, Wesley Van Hoos from Paintsville, Jake Cottle from Floyd Central, Clay Runyon from Paintsville, seventh grader. We just saw at the All-Star yep. game. Um,
Keith and Moore from Floyd Central, Greg Ramey, Paintsville, Todd Crace from Betsy Lane, Jacob Coleman, Floyd Central, Baylor Price from Paintsville, a freshman, Jackson Burchett from Betsy Lane, Brian Amdor from Prestonsburg, B.J. Peterson, Floyd Central, Alex Harris from Prestonsburg, a freshman, Dylan Williams, a sophomore from Betsy Lane. Oh, we got down there, Coach. Uh, wish we had a little. Uh, oh, we're getting uh, ready for the 110 meter hurdles. Wish we had we somebody. Still yeah, we still got the jumpers coming, Thomas. Wish we still had, Coach. Uh, uh, or wish we had somebody down there. That's just part of expanding uh, right. the, uh, our coverage here. But uh, wish we had somebody down there on the high jump. Well, we we still got the long jump coming. They'll they'll be doing that for probably another 20 minutes. That looked like Clay Runyon. Yeah, that was. Now right here, I think this is a Betsy Lane kid, er, paints for kid. There's another paints for kid. Hopefully we can get synchronized with Dewey as we go along to where they kind of stall a couple of these events so they're not inter intertwining. Thomas Rainey got a great look. How many? How many uh, media outlets, sports media outlets, have this type of up close and personal um, view for the fans. Well, you know, and it all starts with these great schools and administrations that work with us to make sure that you know that they really care about their kids getting covered. Yeah, you're exactly right. It, it all starts with them. Nice jump, everybody. Paints full. I mean, we know it's a paints for runner. Athlete, and, yep. And again, uh, you've got. Zoe Jordan, and you've got Julia Vanero from Paintsville. You've got Kathleen Baldwin, and you've got Kara Ward from Paintsville jumping. Monica Joe Moore Lance says, "Let's go, Brady Buck." So Brady Buck must be a track star because everybody's cheering on him and the. The 100 meters, okay. 110. The last couple of days because it's really hard. Okay. 110 but. meter hurdles coming up. Uh, we only got, looks like we've got only one um, one group, Daryl, so it, for the girls, it ends pretty quick. The hurdles? Yeah, it looks like there's only there's only two runners. Well, so you, you let me know when we need to switch down there, okay? When you see They're getting now. Now, here now? we go. Yeah. Okay. 110 meter hurdles. Where hurt. are they starting at? Right at the back end of that. Set, go. Oh, here they come. Caitlin also ran this. My daughter, really good at. She actually hurt herself pretty bad is one this, year here. Is this Carly Williams? Yeah. Oh, no. Here we go. It's uh, pretty close. Jenkins, 19.5. Floyd Central, 25. 19.525, the 110 meter hurdles. That was the only two girls running, so Jenkins gonna get first place in that. Floyd Central gets second. So her name is Carly something, Coach. Do you got the? Now you gotta move the hurdles up for the boys. All right, let me know when they're Third and final call for boys and girls, 100-meter game. 100-meter run coming up. We still got, it looks like we only got one heat. They call it heat, ladies and gentlemen. Here goes another uh, long jump. Yeah. So a lot of times there will be multiple heats at bigger track meets. And what that means is you got one group going, second group going, third group going. And normally that first group is your best group. But uh, Brody Buck from Floyd Central, man, he's got a lot of fans there. Oh, boy. We got a couple of minutes before the boys' 110 meter hurdles. See Jake Rainey in the house over there. Oh, Jake Rainey in the building. Yeah. Jake the Snake Rainey. Now, Coach, you let me know when we're back on uh, for the hurdles, okay? Yeah. Mason, the winner was Mason Ballow from Jenkins. Yeah. Is that a girl? Yes, indeed. And no, uh, the, the, uh, the girl at one, they was cheering on Carly. Well, no, she got second. 
Okay. 40 Central. Carly Rose got second. Okay. And she actually got her PR, Carly Rose did. Her PR was 23.65. Guess what? She got about 21 seconds today. So she got her PR by two seconds. Um, Mason from Jenkins. Go ahead, Thomas. I don't think Thomas can hear us. He was talking to them, I think. Uh, Mason, first place for Jenkins in the 110, 100 meter hurdles. Excuse me, the girls is 100 meters. The boys is 110 meters. Um, Mason got, she may have got her PR, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to get a check on that because her PR is 19.5. Uh, 19 seconds Let's and a half. Let's see here. We got long jump, Porsche, Reinbach, Silas Burchett, and Austin Hahn. Uh, what is that? The Pierre Sloan jumpers. Okay, we appreciate that. Giving us that feed in. The uh, still more Brody Buck fans. They're hey, they're killing us. They love it. Yeah, they they like them some Brody Buck there at uh, Floyd Central. What do they call it up there, Eastern? Hey. We're getting ready. 110 meter hurdles, ladies and gentlemen. Normally a really exciting event on bigger events, especially if you go down to Louisville, Lexington, you get some of the elite, elite, elite athletes. Um, right now they're setting it up. If you didn't know, girls just ran 100 meters. The hurdles are set lower on the jump and they run 10 less meters. So on the boys, it's a 110 meter run around 100 yards of a football field. So if you don't know what meters is, I've had a tough time this entire track journey I've had of, of converting meters to, to uh, yards, right? Uh, but we're getting ready to go. We've got only one heat of boys, Daryl McCoy. We're getting ready to start boys here. Again, the hurdles are raised. They go 10 more meters. see who, who we got here coach we got Floyd Central versus Betsy Lane we'll get we'll get uh, winners and who they are in just a second only two runners see Scott Shannon in the house Scott's always helped us a lot here at D&D, &D, and I'm sure he's here cheering on his daughter, Cameron Shannon. Also, Stacy Shannon, one of the best photographers around. By the way, this track meet is moving along nicely, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, you don't want to be out here until 10.30. I want to be the guy. I, I want to be the honorary uh, guy that shoots the gun, Coach. Hey, there we go. I want to shoot the gun. I like that. Uh, who do I need to talk to to shoot the gun? Probably Dewey. <laughs> Dewey's the godfather of track. The godfather of track. I think we just got a nickname for him. Yep. Godfather of track and field. How about uh, Cameron Catrin? Uh, on a 26 mile ruck run, 38 wow. sack, uh, pound sack on his back, got lost four miles, uh, went four miles off track, and uh, he said a prayer and uh, found his way back. And he ended up, take, uh, Coach, uh, run 31 miles and still won the 26 mile ruck run. That's unbelievable. Kid still defies odds. Four-time state champion for the Belfry Pirates. Uh, went to EKU, got shot, and then uh, now he's uh, pursuing a career in armed forces. Paxton Acres, Jackson Burchett, Brody go. Buck. Brody Buck running. This is Brody Buck? Yeah, should uh, be. Look at Brody go. Uh, oh, we got Nip and Tuck Daryl McCoy. Nip and Tuck Daryl McCoy. Dip and tuck, Daryl McCoy. Yeah, Brody Buck. I think the other kids. Are, oh, yeah. here we go. Here we go. Here uh -oh, we go. It's coming down to the oh. wall, coach. Oh. Betsy Lane gets the win. It was too close to call for me. 
right at about 16 seconds. I'm My pretty, goodness. Brody Buck leaned into it. You know, uh, I've seen two different formations there, Coach. You've seen Brody Buck. He kind of – he soared to one leg and full, uh, it looked smooth bringing the other leg over, and the other kid was more aggressive with his jumps. Right, right. And you want to kind of do it in a running motion. When I ran hurdles, I kind of jumped on Daryl McCoy. Yeah. I didn't have a great form, so I just jumped him. And uh, the great runners just kind of, it's fluidity. Yeah. They're just kind of striding right over. Wow, oh my. What a race, ladies and gentlemen. Brody Buck uh, got edged out, correct, Daryl? Yep. By either, let us know, was it Jackson Burchett or Peyton Akers? All right, we're back on the. Where's the maestro? Yeah, where'd the maestro go? He said, I'm tired of you guys. Yeah, uh, he's walking somewhere. I think he may be down. Did he move over? Yeah, he's down here. Oh, he's got us a look. Yeah, let's see. We're getting all right, folks. This is. Now, they cleared the hurdles out. Is the hurdles done? The hurdles are done because they had no heats. Oh, we got to see more of that. I know. They had no heats. That's what I was just telling them. Uh, normally, you'll have multiple heats in this division. So, this is moving along quite nicely for our first time covering it. Now, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We got the 100-meter uh, dash. Uh, a lot of times, this is where the big athletes show up, the big dogs. I see Thomas. Where is Thomas? He's down here at this end. I see him. He's, he's getting ready for the 100 meter. Is he doing the 100 meter or is he doing a long jump? Good. There you go. That's or a good point. A high jump, I mean. Yeah, good point. Boys, again, we don't. Okay, we do have. It looks like we got six heats yeah, for the 100 go. meter. Here's the high jump, Coach. Check it out. Oh, nice jump. Yeah, there. that was nice. You know who has a big time, and I know you were a fan. You know who has a, an elite, elite daughter that uh, does the high jump? Hey. Randall Cunningham. Uh-uh. Yeah, and he trains her personally. Wow. She is one of the top five in, in uh, America <laughs> at high jump. That does not surprise me because Randall, if you watched him on the football field, uh, he he, I think he invented the hurdle. Yeah. So. Yeah, it doesn't surprise. Yeah. And he, boy, oh boy, is hey. he. Um, I don't know where they go. Oh, thank you. The uh, you the uh, uh, winner of the hurdles. Uh, I don't know if I got him or he got. It him was close, close right? Uh, that, well, uh, well, when you get your time, come back down. And let us know, okay? We got you about 15 and a half. All right, 100 meter hurdles getting ready to start. Let's see Thomas if he's got somebody else jumping down here. As of now, we got seven heats for the girls 100 meter. Carly Rose, Cameron Helton, Arian Morris, Carly Williams, Daryl McCoy. She's in the first heat. Carly Williams. Let's see if she's still locked into this uh, deal. Adeline Dodry from Paintsville. Uh, Carly Rose is the number one seed in this, 14-4. No, excuse me, I am wrong. Carly, we, uh, Ar Ari Miss Morris is the number one seed. Carly Williams, second seed. Got that discus going on over here, coach. Now you see Blake Gamble. You know Blake Gamble was an all-state. Is she getting she getting ready to run? Right. Yeah. Okay. You let me know when they're getting ready to start to run. Okay. The uh, Blake Gamble. Now he was an all-state uh, wrestler at Johnson Central. Uh, I think he's the uh, wrestling coach now there. And uh, one day, a lot of people says he may be the head football coach at oh, Johnson wow. Central. Oh wow. That's big time. So you see him here comes somebody throwing discus. They're getting ready, Daryl McCoy. All right, here, uh, the uh, staff. Can you scoot back away? Thank you. <laughs> She's locked in. You're good. She's wanting to see Carly. She's ready hey. to see Carly run. You're good. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> First call, boys. And girls, four by 200 meter relay. 
Can you believe this, ladies and gentlemen? We're getting ready. The 100 meter dash, seven heats for the girls. So, Thomas is behind them here, right? Yeah, he is. There he is. I found him, Daryl McCoy. Okay. He's behind us. Thomas Rainey getting a great look from behind. Is that how we want to carry it halfway from behind if he can get up? But he's moved now. Seven heats. Again, what's the heat? That is a, uh, essentially what that means is there's not a, you gotta, what, you got the first heat, you gotta go to second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh to clear them all out. Got a lot of runners right now. So this right here is a, they just run to right here, right? Yeah, gonna finish here, 100 meters for a girl. A good, a great time would be 12 seconds, Daryl McCoy. A now, great time. Now, I used to go watch all the time the 200 meter. Yeah, uh, 200 meter is a good one. A lot of people run the 200 meter. That'll be late tonight. Well, that's when uh, Isaac Dixon, they call him the king of the 200 meter. Mr. Football in Kentucky. And the first heat will be Carly Rose, Cameron Helton, Arion Morris, Carly Williams, Adeline Dodry. Supposedly, sometimes those heats have changed, so don't hold us to that. Let's see. Oh, here we go. They're at their set. They're off and running, off and running. Whoa, watch Carly. Carly Williams heading the pack. We got Paintsel coming in late there, McCoy. Uh -oh. Paintsel coming in late. Can Carly, oh, Carly. Williams got him, I think. Carly got it yeah. maybe a tad under 13. Yes, indeed. Carly Williams, Betsy Lane Bobcat, Paintsel coming in late. Carly Williams hangs on. She hangs on by a hair. Miss Carly Williams getting it done. It, I believe she got a tad under 13, maybe 12-9, 13-2. Yep. That's going to be a tough time to beat, Daryl McCoy. Carly Williams, so right now in first place, six more heats to go on Good. the girls. Thomas back over there on the high jump. On this second heat, ladies and gentlemen, and you know this is a Prestonsburg Black Cat with the last name Oosley. Alyssa Oosley, Prestonsburg. Alyssa Fields, Jenkins. Sloan Acres, Floyd Central. Kylie Kenner, Daryl McCoy. Or where we at? Seventh grader, Paintsville. Tell me when they're getting ready to take off. They're getting ready to get right at it. Kylie Kenner running this one, the three-point sniper. And then uh, Portia Ryanbach from Pierce. That's your runners in this second heat. Carly Williams right now in the lead with about a 13 flat run. And as you see, they've got they've got the uh, track and field equipment here where they they can get it on a hair of uh, who won. There's no guessing games here at Prestonsburg. Kylie Kenner. Became a fan of hers during the basketball season. Just the seventh grader coach. I said for a long time, Kylie Kenner is a, uh, she's a future star. Did she, did she not hit 10 threes in a game? Was it? Huh? Was it? Did hey. she hit 10 yeah. threes? A blanket. He's the blanket. <laughs> Again, second heat, Alyssa Oosley from Prestonsburg, Alyssa Fields from Jenkins, Sloan Acres, Floyd Central, Kylie Kenner from Paintsville, the seventh grader, Portia Ryanbach from Pierce. 
Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. We've got, oh, here we go. Uh-oh, seventh grader. She's giving them a run for the money, Coach oh, Kelly Kenner. Kenner. She's going to get it. Oh, 13-8. Kenner, the seventh grader. Kelly Kenner. 13-8. What a running thing is, Coach. She finished, I mean, she she felt them. She felt the tuck at the back of her heels, and she turned on a little bit more, finished strong. T Thomas, we, well, that's the thing. We want to get it. Was want to get it from behind. Oh, he's going to interview her. Yeah, I think so. Maybe not. Kind of Kenner's got those long le legs, Daryl McCoy. Yeah, Kylie Kenner. She, uh, I mean, she's a future rock star in whatever she uh, she does. I mean, uh, you know. Uh, she's just part of that Kenner family. Jason Kenner was a great athlete. Don Kenner, her brother, uh, uh, Jace Kenner. I mean, uh, definitely uh, athletes run uh, rabbit through that bloodline. In the third heat, we'll have Kathleen Baldwin from Bet uh, Paintsville, Lakin Ward from Betsy Lane, Jada Reynolds from Betsy Lane. Kara Ward from Paintsville. Paisley Akers from Prestonsburg. That's going to be your third heat, ladies and gentlemen. Could it pick, did it pick up all the way down there? Yeah. yeah. You've seen the high jump. Yeah, we got a couple of the, yeah. Oh, they're off and running, Daryl McCoy. They're all he's he started this a tad quick. But you've only got three runners on this one. Betsy Lane pulls it out. They started that one pretty quick, ladies and gentlemen. So just pick up. Let us know, was that Lake and Ward or was that Jada Reynolds for Betsy Lane? I'm interested to know why they only ran three heat, three on that. Um, and we still got heats to go. Uh, I'm guessing some uh, some uh, kids bowed out on it. This is your fourth heat in the 100 meter run, ladies and gentlemen. Hannah Ratliff, Julia, J Hannah Ratliff from Prestonsburg. They, uh... Julia Verona from Paintsville. Reese Blankenship from Martin County, Haley Gooden from Prestonsburg, and Zoe Jordan from Paintsville. Warm-ups taking place right now. And again, they come out of the starting blocks on the 100-meter hurdles. Um, also on the 200-meter, they'll come out of the hur uh, out of starting blocks. So a little different uh, way they begin this race. Short distance, you'll get in those starting blocks and, and uh, kind of explode out of it. So again, we're in our fourth heat out of seven. Coach learning on the curve. Daryl McCoy will be a uh, fan for a lifetime <laughs> once he. I will, man. I'm already, you know, volleyball. I, I become a huge volleyball fan after a season uh, covering it. And, uh, you know, track and field's going to be the same. Eva Bevins says, let's go Carly Williams. Eva Bevins cheering on the Bobcats. Uh, we got tons of people tuning in. Yeah, the, uh, I love it. Yeah, they uh, people's loving this. By the way, Carly Williams right now in first. Uh, in the 100 meter, fourth heat coming. So I see Cameron Shannon back there, so she must run these. 
Fourth heat again. Hannah Ratliff, Prestonsburg. Julia Verano. <laughs> hey, folks, I'm the worst with names. Paintsville. <laughs> Reese Blankenship from Martin County. Haley Gooden, Prestonsburg. Zoe Jordan from Paintsville. Well, you fans at home, you, you I mean, you guys let us know any views you'd like to see, any, uh, you know, let, let us know what you think we can do to get better. And, you know, hopefully, Thomas, uh, as we uh, get going, we will have uh, uh, Thomas to get some interviews yeah. and stuff at later on great. in the day. That'll be awesome. And, Set up uh, a D&D &D tent. Uh, yeah. And Coach right here, uh, we didn't go to it, but on one, when we get right here, if it's a close race, click this one. Yeah. And uh, we got the finish line. That's a great – there we go. Thomas Ring said, guys, why haven't you used it yet? <laughs> yeah. The uh, Well, I wasn't sure exactly where it was at. And so. it's on camera one. Yep. I may hit it just to yep. get get used to it. So so when it comes uh, – now, there's not much of a view out – so right. you see, but if when they get right here, yeah. click on it. And yeah. Then... Now I, I'm a little confused. They done like three races hey. real quick, and then now you slowed yeah. it down. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. I, I gotta get the hang of the process here. He sped that one up. Oh, we go back to what? What camera? Uh, two. We got, when I get home in two weeks, I'll handle the interviews, Caitlin Keithley says. Hey, I love it. Where's Thomas? Shot put. Hold on. Well, we're getting ready to do this race here. Here we go. Off and running, Daryl McCoy. Yeah. Oh. She sprinted out to a big time lead. So check out one camera. Here out. we go. We're going to get you right here at the finish line, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get you right here. Hey, camera. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. No pressure. Uh -huh. Yeah, got it. Thomas there. Rainey said, "No pressure." Where are we going? Thomas is uh, over there, shot put now. We're going to our fifth heat. Here we go, shot put. Now you check. Uh, let's see. That was a nice throw. Nice throw. Uh, yeah. Painful. Uh, now. Yeah, these are the brutes. These are the big boys. We need us some, uh, need check Parker Priest out when he gets going. Here we go. Check his fleet central. Nice yeah. throw. Yeah. That yeah. was nice. You know, that right there looks like I could just go out there and throw it past that yellow right. thing, Coach. You probably could. Uh, uh, well, not with my feet right now, but uh, <laughs> uh, I definitely want to try that. Oh, here we go. We 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 apologize, ladies. Again, they got started. Yeah. We apologize for you Pierce fans wanting to – we'll, we'll get you – uh, but of course, uh, shot put uh, right now. The the meat of the the uh, lineups in, ladies and gentlemen. We yeah. didn't want to miss it because this is a big old boy. I promise you. Yeah, this is Parker Priest from Paint. Oh, nice throw. He's transfer come up from Lawrence County. We're now in our sixth heat um, on the other side for the girls. We see, apologize on that. See, I don't get I don't get their process, Coach. Well. Duh. Uh, pe people obviously have bowed out today, and uh, they're still running the heats. Here we go. We're going right at it. Yeah, I know next time one thing that we need to do, we need to put some tape along right here. Yeah. Yeah, so back. we can. Yeah. All right, we've got Gloria. Martinez, Sabrina Jarvis, Marley Lawson, Hannah Antonio, Olivia Ross. Now, if it's close, close, you go to that one camera. And it looks like the lineups have changed, so if the names are wrong, we apologize. Uh, 
All right. Ladies are ready. Guys, we want to thank Citizens Bank of Kentucky, Mingy Beef Jerky, and United Medical Group for sponsoring today's events. They're off and running. Yeah. Looks like we've got we've got four runners. She's kind of pushed out. She's pushed out. I'm guessing the young ladies from Pierced was the winner. I, I could be wrong. Possibly Olivia Ross, ladies and gentlemen, let us know. We've got our last heat. No, uh, Olivia Ross is this young lady back here. Oh, okay. From Pierre's. Okay. She uh, she works for the radio. I met her beforehand. Oh yeah, that's right. She actually ran with Tyler when he was at Pierce. Uh, now this this uh this young lady right here, I tell you, you rocking a, a some pink hair like that, she's got confidence. You better believe. I it. like it. Love it. Want some more of it. So here they last heat on the girls' side, and we'll move to the boys' 100 meter. And this is sometimes this is where to take a little bit, especially those long distance runners. They'll be like, "Come on, guys, get this out of the way, so we can do our thing." They're up and running. They're ready to go. So they'll do the long distance too. Uh, well, follow the 100 meter. Be the four by 200 relay. And then we'll start getting into some of the long distance. Now, the 100 and the 200, if you're talking college-wise and what translates to football, you know, those are the two events yes. that a lot of your average fans like yeah. to see. Yes. All right, here we go. Oh, or, false start. False start. Oh, they said no. Uh, they, they said keep on. Yeah. He didn't want them to stop. No. Nah. They, uh. He told them to keep running. He, yeah. Wow, you can't do that. You got to let them restart. Still matters. You never know. May get that first place out of this seventh heat. Just never know. Now, Coach, the, uh, if it's close, you yeah. click it. By the way, Dewey, and I can't think of this gentleman's name that's uh, firing, firing the gun. They make a great duo. He's been doing it probably as long as Dewey has. So you've got two of the best running this event today. Now we're five wide here, coach. Well, we got it. We got us a group on this last yeah. heat. The last group, 100 meter right now, unofficially Carly Williams from Betsy Lane leads. Man, he popped that gun quick. Oh, we're going to have us a, we're going to have us, maybe not. I popped that a little soon, Daryl McCoy. Aye. Yeah, it was it was actually a few seconds soon. I accidentally bumped it, but I didn't want to go back to it. Apologize about that, but that was your last heat on the 100 meters. Yeah, now now the girl with the false start ended up, uh, I mean, owning that heat. And, uh, you know, it, you can definitely see uh, why she wanted to race it again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have a feeling that if she would if she would have just started running, she'd have still won. <laughs> right. Exactly right. <laughs> well, that'll do it for the girls unofficially. And I and again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't get mad at myself, <laughs> Daryl McCoy, Thomas Rainey, if I'm wrong, but unofficially, Carly Williams is your winner today in the one hundred meter dash. The, uh, how about that? Caitlin Keesley says she's going to come in and call some with us. Hey, that'd be great. And she'll do the on-field interviews for us. Does anybody know it better than her here locally on the girls' side? Heather Blankenship said the winner was from Martin County. Oh, uh, there you go. We always got somebody. Yeah, yeah. Need somebody well, to well, actually what make I meant, sure we're right. Well, actually what I meant was, and, and, it, and maybe correct me if I'm wrong, I meant overall winner yeah. of the heats, Carly Williams. Now let me know if you meant overall. Because yeah. there's seven heats, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let us know if the Martin County girl was overall or if she Car was just Carly dead. got Carly got 12-9 to 13. The next closest I got 
in the next heat was Kylie Kenner, and she had 13-8. But let me know if I'm wrong. Yeah, long jump. They go all day over it, don't they? Yeah, they'll, they'll finish this out around the 4 by 200. Now, is that Jordan Frazier? Well, let me see, Daryl McCoy. We, we got them. They're hey, getting ready to start this, no, Daryl. I don't, I don't think it kind of. The boys, 100 meter. These are going to be absolutely down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to want to blink. No, BJ see. Peterson, Floyd Central, Caleb Gearhart, Dylan Williams from Betsy Lane, Brian Amador from Prestonsburg, Blake Adams from Floyd Central. These are your first heat runners. And you've got six heats today for the boys. So B.J. Peterson, Floyd Central. Let's see what the monster has got there. The number one seed in this is from Betsy Lane, Dylan Williams, 11.8, 11 seconds. Getting a little chilly out here. Yeah, it's going to drop in temperature a little bit today. Yeah, I should have, I think, uh, brought the the hoodie out. All right. Here we go, Coach. We're off and running. Mm -hmm. There we are. We're off. This is going to come right down to a photo finish. This is going to come right down to a photo finish. Let's see here. Do you see who, who might have edged that out, Daryl McCoy? No, uh, uh, look like the kid in the blue, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. he was the number one seed. Betsy Lane kid, yeah. The uh, coach right here, The uh, uh, when we get to the numbers, is right With, where the view okay, starts. Okay, so flip it. Yeah, as soon as they touch the numbers. Okay. Click it. I just uh, on, just caught that on that replay. So unofficially, let us know, Dylan Williams from Betsy Lane. See, Thomas is, uh, I think, still over there on the long jump. Thomas is going to say, make sure you're getting, we can get, get these field events, guys. Yeah. Second heat, 100 meter. Greg Ramey, Paintsville. Anon Lou from Prestonsburg. Grant Varney. I know that name oh, from somewhere. Yeah, he's a basketball point guard for Prestonburg. Yeah, Prestonburg. Let me know when they get ready to start. Braden Moore, Floyd Central. Jeremy Gearhart, Prestonsburg. So that's your second heat runners. And in this second heat, your number one guy is Braden Moore. Braden Moore? Is your, uh, in the second heat. Oh, okay. He's your number one guy. Braden Moore. 12.82. Star guard for uh, Floyd Central. Grant Varney, no, excuse me. Grant Varney's your number one seed in this. 12-6, 12-6. Oh, okay. Listen, Grant Varney, they call him Pawpaw of the basketball team. He, uh, he's a kid that, uh, Coach, if you if you meet the kid, you'd love him. He's straight, uh, he, he, he's just like a military kid. Right. You know, he's yes sir, no sir, uh, right. very respectable young man. Any college uh, that wants a young man that's gonna come and definitely rub off on others, Grant Varney is your man. Yeah. You know, and and he's really brought this Prestonsburg basketball team together. Yeah. You know, he transferred over from June Buchanan with their leading scorer. And uh, this year, you know, he's kind of the guy that brings everybody together. Right. And uh, you get need one of those guys. Yep. A lot of basketball players. You better believe it on these track and field squads. We're getting ready for the second heat. Got multiple basketball players running in this one. Uh, Thomas Rainey is over on the. Let's see. Uh, got Eva Cisco says Betsy Lane. There we go. So that was Dylan Williams, field uh, thrower girls. Uh, that was Dylan Williams that won that while ago. Here we go, coach. Five wide. 
We're off and running. Here we go. We're going to leave it right here all the way through, Daryl. Okay. There's such a big drop off on the back side. No photo oh, finish. Oh, get it, get it, get oh it. well. I, I, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, yeah. that was actually a yeah, good run. That would have been a great one. That Joe. was a good run. Yeah. I didn't want to jump over there. Yeah. But, the, yeah, that was a good run. But there was multiple guys got under 12 on that. Multiple guys got under 12. I didn't expect that at the end. Uh, a couple of guys really turned on the afterburners. Third heat coming up. Thomas Rainey's over on the – he's got a camera set up in the middle of the field. Is he trying to get the start of that? Uh, I think that's what he's doing, but he's going to have to zoom out. He's too close in because you're only getting a couple runners. Good view, but – Derek Newsom. I wonder if Derek Newsom's the track coach. Wide now. Oh, here we go. They're going to start it. What's that? All right, now, Taylor. Here we go. You got it, Taylor. Yeah, he's got it. We're off and running. Off and running. We'll see. Here we go. Neck and neck. Here we go. Here we go. get that camera angle from Tom. Well, I turned the sound off there. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I muted where go. The uh, that was yeah. I, I, I muted it. That angle was good. Yeah. Uh, fifth. Is this the fifth or sixth heat? This is the fifth heat. Working now. Yeah. I muted it. I muted it. Fifth heat coming up. We've got Dagan Little uh, from Floyd Central, oh, Andrew oh, Hun I'm from Pierce, Wesley Van yeah, Hoos, the seventh grader from Paisel. Guess what, oh, ladies and yeah. gentlemen? We got a sixth oh, grader, yeah, Drake Zemo from hey, Pierce. I don't think he's allowed to qualify. We're off and running, Daryl. Oh. Let me get All back right, coach, to you. got one, three. We're off and running. Here we go. We got a sixth grader from Pierce running. Not allowed to, but hey. Yeah. Probably should have kept that wide. Uh, a couple of pierced rudders. You got to love that pierced 
uh, anytime they come out and compete. And somehow they've been able to manage to keep a track team going uh, over the years. They've got a small, they're a Christian faith-based school, ladies and gentlemen, uh, over on that Paintsville uh, border, uh, Hager Hill, I believe. And uh, somehow over the years, they've managed to keep a track team. And uh, whether it's been two runners, three runners, four runners, five runners, yeah, this Pierce school comes and competes. They are high on academics, high on faith, high on Christianity, and they like their track at Pierce. So uh, got to love that they've kept that uh, Pierce program going over the years. So give them a hand in the comments section and say, hey, keep it going at Pierce. We love what you're doing. Keep competing, keep working. Again, like I told you, well, we're getting ready to get into that. Sixth and final heat is Sil uh, Silas Burchett from Pierce, Josh Frazier from Foley Central, Jonathan Tussey. Did you from say Foley Josh Frazier? Yes. Josh Frazier is out here running. Yes. Josh Frazier from Floyd Central, Jonathan Tussey from Floyd Central. So that's your three runners for the final on the 100 meter. Yeah, we got to. Uh, we're going to try to. Ladies and gentlemen, another bar has been set. Another threshold has been crossed. DD Sports bringing you track and field coverage from Prestonsburg, <laughs> Kentucky. Think about that, Coach. Unbelievable. It, it, I tell you, I'm as proud as I can be to be here with you, Daryl McCoy and Thomas Rainey. Todd Crace, Betsy Lane for the second heat was the one that won it. I think that was the big blonde kid. That was so good. This is, this is our last heat, ladies and gentlemen, 100 meter. Then guess what? We're jumping into the four by 200 meter relay, getting inching closer to some of that long distance running. Caitlin Keithley says she'll be our sideline yeah, correspondent. Li liaison. Yeah, when she gets back. Hey, that's pretty good when you got a six time region champ on the sidelines. That Here holds go, every coach. record. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, told him they had a minute. Josh Frazier. Yeah, I, I don't see Josh Frazier out there. Oh, okay. Well, maybe he bowed out. Yeah. We've got, looks uh, like. Unless he's, no, he, that ain't him either. We've got, what, four? That's like three Johnson Central kids in that uh, Floyd Girls, Central. Girls high jump. Here we go. We got a few of them. I see them walking towards. And four by 200 meters getting ready. All right. Are you are you digging what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen? Let us know if you like this coverage, guys. And uh, also, if you own a business and uh, you'd like to see more track and field, let us know. You know, today's events is sponsored by Mangy Beef Jerky, Citizens Bank of Kentucky, and Dr. Alan Baldwin at Maynard Chiropractic. And oh yeah, we expect the Johnny come lately. <laughs> yeah, th th well, that's the thing. There'll be other media outlets do it now. Here we okay, go. Okay, here we go, Coach. Off and running. Yeah, well, this is going to come down yeah. to it, ladies and gentlemen. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Turn it up, big fella. There you go. That was a nice run. Great finish here, Coach. That was Look. a nice run. I switched it back so I can get that full wide view. Watch yeah. it. Here we yeah. go. Watch it. Look at that run. Switch oh. just a little too quick from that first one. Yeah, because there was a kid on the backside running. Did you see the kid on the far end? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And one thing you'll notice about track and, and field is the home team uh, student athletes help set up the events. So they'll put the hurdles up, they'll move the hurdles, they'll do what needs to be done throughout the night. You gotta love that, you know, a little sweat equity, uh, putting the work in to help make sure the event goes off. Again, who's heading this event? Dewey Jamison, right? You know that name in Prestonsburg. And, you know, I split time in Eastern Kentucky um, down south, South Carolina, Atlanta. 
What's that? Well, we're not the announcer, but we're on air. Um, we've got. Yeah, we. Uh, they believe that we're doing James. No, sir, we're not doing Jameson. He, he's the godfather of track and field. You better believe it. He's been doing it for a long time, and I split time as I was saying growing up. Floyd County, um, Atlanta, Florida, all parts in between. And but in fifth grade, Dewey Jameson was my PE teacher. And is that crazy or is that crazy? Because that man looks younger than I do. That man doesn't age. I believe he could get out here and still get it done. And we've, we've got his son out here working. We've got Casey Huff, the head basketball coach out here working. Uh, so it's a, it's a uh, community deal. And, and again, they do, they do such a good job, Paintsville and Prestonsburg, putting this on. Uh, you got to credit Paintsville and Prestonsburg. My oh my. Yeah, guess what? Another relay coming at you. Four by 200, female action. Get ready, hold on to your hats, not only because it's windy, but because we got the four by 200 and these girls can fly. And we are going to commercial, we ain't took one, we'll be right back. When you go to the polls and elect your leaders, you wanna elect a man that's honest. You wanna elect a man with integrity. You wanna elect a family man, a man that knows what it's like to lead. You want to elect Dr. Jacob Justice for state representative on May 17th. Come on down to Spirit Stop in Inez, Kentucky. We got boutique items, friendly faces, and we can get you game day gear ready. We want to wish the Martin County Cardinals and all Mountain athletes the best of luck in this year's 15th region tournament. Come see us at Spirit Stop. you're looking for someone that can get you the judgment you deserve, call Ryan and Ryan Law Offices in Williamson, West Virginia. In over 40 years of serving his community, A.J. Ryan has secured $40 million in settlements for his clients. Call Ryan and Ryan Law Offices today. United Medical Group in Co-Run now has a full staff of physicians ready to take care of you. Stop by today and see us. We're located in Co Run and now accepting new patients. Uh, we back. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting a little chilly here. I was smart. I brought the hoodie. Daryl McCoy. He's going to try to get track one down. Four by two hundred meter coming up. Only two teams running. Oh yeah, Floyd Central. She's ready to go. You yeah. see her? She's ready to go. Paintsville's ready to go. I like it. The energy's high. The one, uh, Paintsville's in lane two. Floyd Central's going to be in lane five. So they got plenty of space to operate, Daryl McCoy. Yep. They, uh, you know, and I, uh, well, Cameron Shannon, you see her right there. So, uh, you know, she's an all defender, made uh, honorable mention d d sports. You see Kylie Kenner there. You know, a little basketball trash talk. Uh, yeah. I like, hey, look at those cleats, Daryl McCoy. I uh, like you. Remember, oh. smooth coach. Let's see if we can zoom in on yeah, these. Yeah, I love those. Yeah, you, you know, the swag, the really good ones, they bring it. They got the flavor flavor. You better believe it. I'm kicking flavor in your ear, Daryl McCoy. <laughs> lane two, lane five, paints on lane two. Um, Floyd Central is the number one seed in this, ladies and gentlemen. Jenkins bowed out. There's the, uh, the you stud seventh grader everybody's talking about coach in the mountains here, Kylie Kenner. Oh, yeah, can flat out shoot it. A as you can see, what happens in the 4 by 200 guess what? 200 meters is where it starts here and on the other side, Daryl McCoy, uh, and we'll get that shot here in just a second, uh, they're going to hand that baton off at 200 meters, okay? So, and uh, each, each runner runs 
200 meters. So that's two laps, right? No, no, no. That's oh, not even okay. a half yeah. a lap. Okay. And you'll see. We'll get a the, shot of where they're yeah. going. This is where. I, this is the one I like. The four by two. Yeah, yeah. you'll see a lot of football players in this yeah. one. The. Uh, Let's see, Coach, real quick. We got uh, Billy Marie Collins says, go out, go Isaiah Collins. Isaiah's been very successful, both track and soccer at Prestonsburg. Uh, Billy Marie Collins says, thanks for covering this. So does Crystal Barker. Listen, you guys keep your words coming. That's all it keeps us coming back for this. So, you know, we like to see that you guys like it. Hit that like and share button, folks. Get them numbers up. I mean, we've had crazy numbers for our first day ever doing this. And you guys can help uh, just end up Propping them numbers on up there. Get that shot real quick of where they're going to hand that off. That 200 meters is half the length of a, uh, the track, ladies and gentlemen. So they're going to hand that off where you see where Keener's yeah, at right here. Yeah, all the way where that no the flag is. Go all the way to the other side where the scoreboard is. Oh, okay. And you're going to see that's where they're going to hand off where that flag is. They've got so much room uh, to hand it off. And I think it's about 20 meters, 15 meters. If they don't get it within that uh, um, area, then they're disqualified. So we got some Cameron Shannon fans also tuning in. Four by two, it'll be staggered. The fifth lane, Daryl McCoy, is going to begin here. Second lane's going to begin where she's setting up her. If I'm not mistaken, Thomas Rainey will have that backside, the handoff uh, down there. So. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. positioned on a. Yeah, I think he'll get them from uh, whenever they come around. So if you want to. See if he's set yeah. up. I think uh, that's him right there. But me and him had talked. I know in a long distance we're going to go post to go that, post. That'd be great. And then we got the wide shot. Yeah. Four by 200. They're staggering it as they do. Um, so, again, paint is going to begin in that second lane. And um, Floyd Central is going to begin in the fifth lane, which is kind of surprising because Floyd Central actually has the better time at 2.06. Everybody's ready. Um, Dewey's signaling to his dad. I mean, Dewey's son or nephew is so, uh, signaling to his dad. They're ready. And, again, they'll hand off at the uh, uh, corner of the track, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Miss Kylie Kenner. They're going to begin right here, though, Daryl. Yeah. Okay. Who's that runner? That is Paintsville in the second lane. Paintsville, Floyd Central, dueling it out, the 4 by 200 Only one, only one um, heat for this. Mm. This is going to be three, Daryl, on Thomas's? Yeah. Where's he at? Okay. No, yeah. Addy! So should from the go post around, you should be able to get him and make sure. Oh, you could tell she's ready to run. Mm -hmm. How's she stretching, ladies and gentlemen? Mm -hmm. Oh, stop, stop. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. There's a false start, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so they're starting up there. Well, she's it's a staggered, Daryl McCoy. Okay. So she on the outer lane is going to get started on the outer. It's still going to be even yeah. at the end of the day. It, yeah, she wasn't ready to go. She was still stretching. Well, the, uh, <laughs> we'll get Kenner starting off here. Well, she starts here. The uh, Well, there's two other in front of her, right? No, no, no. She starts Anybody just on a stagger. Oh, okay. School bus report. You need to move your vehicle. One of them is a red Mitsubishi with electric plates. All right, there's a false start. Paintsville wasn't ready. Floyd Central's getting that outer lane. You're saying they're getting advantage. No, they're not getting an advantage, ladies and gentlemen, but they're starting at a wider lane. Do you get what I mean? They're, yeah. Yeah, okay. Folks might be thinking Floyd Central has an advantage here. Not so good. Why? Because Paintsville's running closer to, yeah, to the inside. On the inside. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's still stretching. You know she's a runner, Daryl. Look how she's stretching. She's well. Well, speaking of somebody else stretch, uh, look over here. You got the master of Thomas Rainey stretching over there. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's ready, ready to go. Yeah, he's ready to get this view. Coach, you all may or may not have to move that bus. Maybe. Okay. Is that white bus in the way as well? Uh, 
right, I'm, I'm waiting to see who's signaling for the gun. I believe. Uh, bear with us, here we go. I don't see the gun. There it is, he's got none. Uh, yeah, he. Yeah, Thomas Rainey will get them on the handoff on that back side, and uh, we'll get them on the start right here. Here we go. Tough. Got to widen out. You know, the painful girl coach. There's I a got. handoff. Yep, There's there a handoff. Is. Now we're back to it. We're back to it. Tom, Daryl's got you. He's got you for the home stretch here. Kylie Kenner, ready, ready to take the baton, Daryl. Yeah. Right now they're at 42. Floyd Central in the lead. Floyd Central gaining a sizable, sizable advantage here. Floyd Central on the push, on the handoff at one minute exactly. Kylie Kenner, 102, off and running we go. And there goes Kenner. Here we go, off and run. She turned just a little bit, said, where's my competition? Kenner making ground, Daryl. Kenner making ground, Daryl. Here we go, here we go. Kenner making ground, can he, can she catch you? She is making ground. Oh, we're gonna come down to the end here. Here we go. Oh! She passed her. Oh, she passed her. Paintsville is on the move, coming from behind. Coming from behind. Here we go down the last 100 meters. Last 100 meters. Paintsville going to pull this one out, Daryl. Yeah, it looks like They're going to pull this one out. 202. 202. 205. Yeah. Nice, nice run there, the, the Paintsville girls. That was a good run. Yeah, they uh, held that backside look, Coach, on when Thomas went to it. Uh, at, at first a little shaky, but that next set, uh, pretty solid. We're working, folks. We're going to find the exact angles you want, the exact angles you need. Yep. That's, that's what it's about, trial by error. Dewey, son, is clay. Say go Cam and go Jags. Uh, great to see you guys covering track and field. Trinity Trinity May tuning in. Yeah, Trinity May. He, hey, he was a part of those region championship teams. He's got a banner With hanging at Pike Kevin, Central. Right? Yeah, he's got a banner hanging at Pike Central. Trinity does. You know, uh, the early days of D&D sports, we had Trinity May and Kevin Keithley on the show, David and Daryl show in Phelps, Kentucky. Wow, yeah. track and field. <laughs> yep. Unbelievable. You remember that? Six yes. years ago. I forgot all about that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh, Ronnie Sammons Jr. Four by 200. Exciting. Let's see who we got running. We've got Betsy Lane, Floyd Central, Prestonsburg. Johnson Central. And Johnson Central. It looks like paint soil may not. Oh, <laughs> coach. It, listen, when you when you sit here and you look at these uh, different schools, look at the Johnson Central kids. And you tell it, me their weight training program. We've said that for a long point. time. <laughs> we've said that for a long time. Them boys are putting a gun show on out here. Uh, for Floyd Central, you've got B.J. Peterson, Sheston Johnson, Ronnie Sammons, Blake Adams. For Prestonsburg, you've got Caleb Gearhart, Brian. Amador, Isaiah Collins, Taylor Oosley, 
Betsy Lane was scheduled. It doesn't look like they're here. And I do not have Johnson Central team, Daryl McCoy. They do not have Johnson Central listed okay. as a team. I'll try to get their names uh, yeah. here real quick. Oh, I'm telling you, it's perfect. A lot of folks will say it's chilly, it's cold, but I promise you for a long distance runner, this is ideal, ladies and gentlemen, to get PR times. It's probably about 59 degrees right now. Um, Ouch, dropped a little bit. Suns went down over the mountain. And uh, most of the track, yeah, all the tracks now covered in shade. So you're going to get some great times when that 1600 meter comes around. Right now, we've still got the 4x200. Uh, getting ready to kick off for the boys. A lot of times, you'll see a lot of football players in this, some basketball. And uh, this is speed, speed, speed. Effort, effort, effort. Again, the uh, Dewey Jamerson is overseeing this event. Long time track and field coordinator. Um, and then, of course, I can't think of this gentleman's name here on the starting line from Paintsville, but they've been doing it together for a long time, and they work together well. So that's what you want to see in track and field, especially if you're, if you're a parent, because why? You'll get here at 4.35 o'clock, and sometimes you'll be here until 10.30. And especially if it's 90 degrees outside, yeah, you're ready to go home. These guys are going to make sure that we're out of here. Before I lose it, Jake Kane, Adam Williams will be starting for Johnson Central. Jake Kane is on this backside. Aiden Birch right here. And then you got Zach McCourt, all football player and wrestlers in this event for yeah, Johnson Central. usually is. Johnson Central traditionally has one of the better track and field teams in the area, year in and year out, boys and girls. We're getting ready to go. Now here we go, Coach, who starts this one? Floyd Central. Uh, Floyd Central is going to be on the inner lane. And then we've got Prestonsburg, it looks like, on the outer lane. And you're going to – are we only having one heat? Uh, no, we're going to have two. No, we got three. We got, we're we're going to have one heat. Uh, three teams. Now, Zach McCourt is a star running back uh, for Johnson Central. Go Alex Harris, Lisa Fuller Hilton says. So I take it that's probably a Prestonsburg kid that Lisa's cheering on. We also want to thank uh, Hilton Homes of Ival for all their sponsorships of Mountain Athletes and uh, everything that they do. If you're going to go buy a home tax time coming on, make sure you go up there. The uh, how about this? The goat in the house, Don Kenner. And, uh, you like to see uh, when it goes volleyball coaches, there's not a better one around than Don Kenner, Coach Keasley. Yeah, she's a real. Uh, I mean, they don't get any better, do they? No. Well, my timer is off. Is off. <laughs> so look at Alan Harville in the house. Alan Harville. Yeah. I hear, I hear, I hear, he has a daughter that can play ball. <laughs> he does. Yeah. He, uh, Kennedy Harville definitely. I'm surprised she don't run track. Yeah, very surprising. You, you know, Coach, uh, I was talking to somebody uh, today, and they was telling me they said, uh, you know, they said, I'm trying to think who it was, uh, and. Uh, they said, uh, oh, I was talking to a college recruiter, and he said that uh, he said the best thing he ever done, he said his son's never played baseball going into his eighth grade year, he said, and he told his son to play baseball. He said his son is by far the best uh, basketball kid in, their, in his area, and nobody's even close to him, and said that he let his son play baseball and said what it's done as far as humbling him, it's allowed him to have fun and how to handle stuff when he's not the best athlete on the oh, field. That's a great point. And, you know, that, that's a really good uh, point yeah. for kids, to, you know, good for them to play other sports right. because it teaches them how to communicate when they're not the best on yeah, the field. That, that's, that's a great aspect yeah. of it yeah i had never uh, heard that and i was talking to him earlier today and he was telling me you know he's like and he said i'm even gonna let him play football uh this year he said just so he learns that you know and he's not always you know he learns to you know come from behind as well as you know be a front runner right is thomas not gonna have that angle is he 
Where'd he at? He's he's off of it, so. We're going to get the wide angle for you, ladies and gentlemen. Thomas. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he's trying to he's work something for another event or something. <laughs> Here we go. Now, Ronnie Salmon's putting his feet there to, so the block don't yeah. push out, right? Yeah. Uh, that way you can explode also. Yeah. Uh, without it giving, giving away. There you go, Daryl. Now we got all three. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Speed, Daryl McCoy. Speed. Wow. Whoa. That is great form, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to know how to run, you want to know what it takes to be a great runner, watch that young man's form. Wow. He looks like a college-level runner. Handoff. Clean Good handoff. Oh, that's – look, backside coming. Backside coming. He is lightning. Wow. We got us a good race right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this handoff goes. Handoffs are important. Handoffs are important. Ooh, that not the best oh, handoff. Nope. Not the best handoff. I think they lost a little bit there. Yeah, there's Ronnie. Ronnie Sammons Jr. Here, Coach, you got the Prestonsburg kid coming from behind. Lower that a little bit. Time. Here we go. You see the back side of it. Drop it a little bit. I don't think you can hear us. Uh -uh. There's the handoffs. You're getting a handoff, so. Again, Ooh, a little trouble. Both handoffs bad there. Yeah, a little trouble with the handoff. Good job, Thomas. Here we go. Back around. I'm going to come down to a. No, we got us. We got us a clear finish here, Daryl McCoy. Yeah. We got us a clean finish, Daryl McCoy. Prestonsburg, Prestonsburg finishes first. Johnson Central second. It'll be a photo finish with uh, Floyd Central in. Third team oh. Prestonsburg. Oh. Oh. That's effort. That's energy. That's what you like. That's what you like yep. to see. Laid it all out, put his body on the line. Wow. Johnson Central jumped out to that early lead. Prestonsburg comes from behind to take it. First place, second place. First place, Prestonsburg. Second, Johnson Central. I think we're getting ready for the triple jump. They said Kennedy Harville does run track. So okay, well, that's why he's here. I've not seen her around, though. All right. Um, I heard Dewey call for triple jump for the girls. We should be getting ready for... Uh-oh, Daryl McCoy, Caitlin Keithley, the mile run coming up. Now, the mile, is that five trips around? Four trips around this track. Four trips around the sun, Daryl McCoy. You better be tough as nails, tough as leather, grit, determination. You better be able to run all day, run all night, run a little longer if you're going to jump in the 1,600 meter. It ain't for the faint of heart. You guys will think Hilton Home Survival, Citizens Bank of Kentucky, Mingy Beef Jerky, and Jones Oil Company for sponsoring today's event here at the Prisonsburg Track and Field event. We have got 1,600 meter first call. I believe we're getting ready for the girls triple jump. Um, I had heard that. Said the, uh, we got a couple comments. Have they done the girls high jump yet? Lisa Fuller Hilton says. I don't think they have that. They, they, I, I believe that. That's what they're doing right now. They actually, they're on the other side right now, and I think that's what they're. Now uh, there's an interview with Owen Lamaster. Where's uh, Thomas at here? The. Uh, oh, we got the mile intergender, Daryl McCoy, because there's not enough runners. So we got boys and girls hopping in on the mile. Caitlin Keithley, are you tuned in? Where you at, Kaylee? Uh, uh, now, Caitlin Keithley says need to be another girl get below six minutes. Said she feels lonely at the top. Hey, she's got that 550 mark. You better get <laughs> 540 if you're going to compete with her. We're, I can't forget her. The girl from Morgan County, Caitlin. Uh, now I forgot her last name. Kaylee Perry. 
Bailey Perry runs a 502 mile, run a Division I track. Um, this is traditionally the superstar event. This is traditionally right. what everybody comes and sees in the Olympics, right? Here we go. Uh, Thomas Rainey got an interview over Owen there. Owen LeMaster, the sack master. Yep, that's it. That's what they call him. Oh. They're not going to run intergender. They're just going to run girls on the mile. Come on, Thomas. Yeah. Steve LeMaster, my guy. We won't hear it. We actually won't hear it. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you let me know when we get ready to start so we can switch back over to the mile. Over in LeMaster. He still uh, get one the One of the star linemen, his dad. There's Katie Joe Moore in the house. Alice Lloyd star, one of our favorites. The, the fans at home can actually hear. Oh, they can? They can hear him. We can't. The same way at the All-Star game. We couldn't hear him. We couldn't hear you guys interview. So we got to actually be quiet right now. See? 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 We probably talked over him a couple times, so that's all right. That's what happened at the All-Star game. I didn't think we could hear so when he's talking, we actually can't hear. See, I no. hear it. I hear Thomas. Huh? I heard Thomas. I, there was nothing. Uh -huh. It's just like it, the all-star deal. It didn't come across. Uh, all right, Mile getting ready to go. Yeah, we apologize, folks, for that. Because we, we uh, want to get Owen in. Yeah. Maybe we'll try to get in a minute. Oh, he's going to do another one, Daryl. Um, yeah. All right, Mile getting ready to begin here. Oh, here we go. A little slow start to the mile. Again, what's going to happen is, is those runners can enter that First lane, that's exactly what happened just now. And uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, if, if, here in Eastern Kentucky, a good mile for a for a, uh, for a girl runner. So they're uh, pacing herself, Yeah, correct. he's ready He's ready to be a video guy. Uh, uh, and guess what? Uh, Leanne Hughes will know that first place runner. Because she coached her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, actually, she's not listed as running, but she's out there running. Pier uh, Pierced in first. Here's who we say we've got for the mile. And uh, let us know if we're right. That is Briley Pennington. You could have caught the long jump down there. Briley yeah. Pennington, Chloe Crace, Haley Little, Hannah Tackett, Jade Hilton, Angel Harris. And it doesn't look like that many is running. We've got four runners. So let us know who, who it is. First lap coming around. I wish we had the time for you, but our clock. Yeah, that is Chloe Crace. I'm just about positive. Yeah. Pierced him first. Uh, Daryl McCoy, you know that young lady's name. Uh, you, you said it earlier. Who? Uh, the first place pierced. You, Olivia Ross. Yeah, Olivia is in first place. Um, no surprise there. She runs cross country as well. I would love to know these times. A good time, ladies and gentlemen, would be around here, 6.30 or better. Um, an elite time for region, for region and for state will be 5.55 or better, okay? 
Uh, nobody's going to get 555 today. Now check Thomas's views out there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Over. Has he got anything? We'll get him on the back side right here. There we go. You see the back side of the mile? Thomas has got you. We're going to go back to uh, two. Olivia from Pierce in first place. She's been running for a long time. Uh, Leanne Hughes used to coach Pierce uh, cross country, and Olivia was a part of that group. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she's a senior now. Let us know, Pierce fans. Yeah, she is. I spoke to her before the uh, track meet here. So this, she's been running, what, five, six yeah. years now, long she, distance. She actually w works for her local radio station. Okay. Yeah. She's got a sizable lead going into the 800 right here. She's going to finish her 800 meters. She's got a half a mile to go, ladies and gentlemen. Got herself a lead. Floyd Central. Looks 60, 70 meters behind. This is, this is the event. When you talk about endurance, mental toughness, you better have it. You're going to see if Thomas has got. By the way, Coach, May 17th, when you go That's to the election shot. polls, make sure you vote for Willie Crace, Judge Executive. That was a great shot. Yeah, you better believe it, Willie Crace. There you go, Thomas. Darrell's got a great shot of Olivia extending her lead. She's going to finish first. She's got one more lap to go. There's a long jump or a high jump. Oh, oh nice. almost got it. Um, she's created a sizable, sizable advantage here. She's going to finish first. She's got one more lap to go. She's got about 500 meters on her run left. Come on, we want to we want to break records. Turn it up. Yeah, turn that energy up. Mm. There she goes. One lap to go. See her looking at the camera. She knows yeah. we're here. Four hundred meters to go. She's gonna she's gonna finish first. All that's left is can third catch second. We've got uh we've got uh. Daryl McCoy's family in the building. Second place. You see the back side of that. We'll see if Thomas, Thomas is kind of checking it out. You got Thomas over there? No, he, he's left. Well, he's waving his hands up at us. I don't know. I think he's wanting me to answer the phone, but. Oh, we're froze. Uh -huh. I think that's what he's saying. We're froze. Uh -oh. There he is. We're live again. Uh -huh. There we go. We're good. We're good. Here we go. Olivia going to finish first. About 110 meters to go. Pierce going to get in the there wind go. column. There she is. There's that sprint. Olivia Ross turning it up. Coach. Yeah. She's turning it up in a big time way. That's what you want in the 1600 meter. When you hit that last 200, you hit that last 100, you're going to want to turn on the afterburner. Sure enough, that's what Olivia there did. She Olivia finishes first. Second place. Floyd Central. Potentially, am I right? Is that Floyd Central? Yeah, Floyd Central coming up the gate here in second place. Yep. Got 
One more runner after her. We've actually got two runners. Yeah, here comes Chloe Crace. Chloe Crace. Then we got the back side with 200 meters to go. That's effort. I mean, you can see Chloe pushing right now through the final stretch. We got one there more. Go. We got the back side coming. Back. About 150 meters. Listen, folks, this 1,600 meter ain't for the weak of heart, um, faint of heart. This is the event that nobody wants to run anymore. So you better believe you're tough, you're in shape, and uh, you're wanting to win for your team because somebody has to step up and run it. Here we go. Olivia takes first place in a 1600 meter run from Pierced, or Pierced. They said her name was Riley or Riley, Coach. Oh, really? So. There we are. There she goes. Congratulations to each and every one of these girls. Just, uh, I mean, that, that took a lot of effort. Yeah, it, it really is. It's about effort. It's about mental conditioning. And guess what? We've got the boys ready. Ready to step up here. And we've got several. We've got several. Let's go through them for you. 1,600 meter run. What? Yeah, that's a mile run. 1,600 meters. And let's go over it. George Herrero from Prestonsburg. Josh Allen from Prestonsburg. Noah Gearhart from Prestonsburg. Brian Ash from Betsy Lane. Matt Morris from Jenkins. Mason Stratton from Betsy Lane. Grant Varney from Prestonsburg. Logan Tussey from Floyd Central. Jacob Johnson from Floyd Central. Emery Bartram from Floyd Central. Again, George Herrero, Prestonsburg. Josh Allen, Prestonsburg. Noah Gearhart, Prestonsburg. Brian Ash, Betsy Lane. Matt Morris, Jenkins. Mason Stratton, Betsy Lane. Grant Varney, Prestonsburg. Logan Tussey, Floyd Central. Jacob Johnson, Floyd Central. Emery Bartram, Floyd Central. That's your runners. And it looks like Brian Ash from Betsy Lane runs a 509 mile. So there's a chance we can see a four minute mile here. Yep. There's a chance. Now I see Grant Varney, I see Josh Allen here. Uh, a couple Prestonsburg kids I know. And then uh, we got, if I'm not mistaken, that's the Jenkins kid over on the backside, correct? Yeah, Jenkins is. Uh, you got the. You got Jenkins on first and second yep. lane, um, which yep. again, looking at their times, that's not the. Um, he's he, five sixteen mile. Matt Morris from Jenkins. Will you hit that timer, Daryl? Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh, that's the only time. Yeah. Hey, can you set the clock? Yeah, when we get ready. So just hit the start, do a timer. I don't know how. You There should be a, a watch somewhere. Yeah. Right to, uh, I don't think I've ever used it. So no, it's uh, right here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's a chance we'll see a four sub five mile. A chance. A sub five mile? That's, yes, a, ch a chance. Now, who would run that? That would be the kid from Betsy Lane, Mr. Mr. Ash, Brian Ash. Brian Ash. So is, he's one of these kids closest to us. Thomas here. said switch to his camera, right? Yeah, it is. It's it's on his camera. What is it? I got it. Yeah, good too. Here you go. We're off and running. Look for Brian Ash from Betsy Lane, 509. Yeah, Thomas should have him on that backside, I would say. 
so about right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Jenkins. Awesome. Jenkins in the lead. Yep. He sprints out to the lead. There, he got the back side of it as well. That first group, that first group separates himself. That pack of runners. Is that Josh Allen in the front? Jo Josh Allen. Uh, uh oh. Josh Allen leading the way. He has run, his PR is a 548 mile. Wow, that's impressive. That's a good mile. You don't know what my uh, personal record in mile was in PE back in the high school? What? 1220. Wow. <laughs> Braxton ran a 529 mile the other day, Daryl McCoy. Wow. At his uh, track meet. 529 as a seventh grader. Josh yes. Allen. Let's see. First lap, Daryl. Yeah. Uh, he's at 110. He's got a shot. You want to be 110 or lower. Well, actually, 112 or lower if you want to have an opportunity to go fi sub five. Now, the Betsy Lane boys, uh, they're falling behind. Yeah, they're falling behind a little bit. The one that you. Uh, that has the PR yeah. on here. Here we go. Now, Josh Allen. Uh, he just got passed he's I fading. Think, by a teammate. He's fading, Daryl McCoy. Yeah. That's what happens, gas yourself out. But that could have been yeah. strategy. Yeah. It could have been to push that Jenkins runner to gas him out. Well, that Jenkins kid, man, he's he's right there, man. He He's looked like he's been even killed throughout. So it, it could have been a strategy on the part of uh, Prestonsburg. We've yeah. got us a nice little run here. I love it right here. This is what it's about. You've got competition here in the 1600 meter run. Jenkins has sprinted out to the lead, Daryl. Yeah. And uh, we've got him at a 516 mile is his PR. We're coming around. It looks like we're going to be right at 232, 233 at the 800 mark. 232. For Jenkins. There's Josh. Oh, no, that's Jorge Herrero right there. We're going to hit Thomas Rainey's angle. Here we go. Little separation. Nice shot by Thomas. There's go Grant Varney for Prestonsburg. They, uh, Thomas to get him around that back side there. Yeah, he's he's created about a 20 meter advantage. You'll start seeing the afterburners turn on a little bit once he crosses this. Uh, the final. Yeah, the lap. Yeah. You want to really kick it with each 100 meters. I tell you, it's Jenkins kid. He's. This 1600 meter, the mile run. It's about toughness, now, mentally, the physically. One. The two mile two will mile. be the last tonight. <laughs> We're not going to have a sub five, but we can have a 515 or better. Here we go. 355, Daryl. I mean, if he really kicked it, there will be an outside shot. Looks like he's going to get 5'10", 5'15". Let's see how close I am. All right. That Prestonsburg kid looks like he, he may have a chance to pass him in that final stretch if he turns he it on. He's turned it on a little bit. We'll go back. We're going to go back to Daryl's angle here. All right, here we go. That's your front runner, Jenkins, ahead. Okay. He's going around the final turn right now. We're going down to the final 200. Five, 448. 448. Can he get 515 or better? Can he get 515 or better? We're about to find out. 457. All right, come on. Five flat. Here, Here he goes. 20, 530. 505. Am I going to be right on the money? Come 510. On, come on, big man. 
Finish strong. 5-14, Daryl McCoy. Wow, you called it to a T, Coach. Who is this right here? It's Prestonsburg kid. 525, ladies and gentlemen. It's not Josh Allen or Grant Varney. And this young man's got another lap. He's got one more lap. Okay. Here we go. We got I, I love that, Coach. You can see he ain't stopping, you know. We've got a slew coming in. Is this Josh Allen? No, this is Jorge Herrero. Yes, sir. It's the foreign exchange student from Spain. He's going to get 545. Great job, young man. Here we go. We got two battling it out. Uh oh, here they go, Coach. Got two. Got Josh. two. Josh Allen turns it on and leaves him in the dust. Yeah, 552. Got him by a hair. We still got a few runners coming across. There goes Grant Varney. Grant Varney finishes at 605. 607 for Jenkins. Here Betsy comes. Lane. It's Mason. 614. And. Uh, there's another Betsy Lane. He might have one more lap. I'm not sure. Third and final call, boys and girls. Four by one, uh, he's he's finished 627. Yeah. Now here goes Johnson Central, kid. 633. Great job. One last runner, Daryl McCoy. And these are the ones you want to cheer on. Yep. You better believe it. Here he comes. He's coming around the final stretch. No, I didn't get He's coming. He's, he's coming up the home stretch here. Uh oh, he's turning it on, Coach. Here he goes. He's he's going to have a strong finish here. That's how you finish. Yeah. That's how you finish. And he's going to get below 720, Daryl. Hey, he he turned it on here down this final stretch. You know, he still had a little left in the tank. There you go. 717. 717. Coach Keithley, here okay. they go. Look at her. Those yeah. paints will, they're yeah. ready to go. Turn that energy up, paints will. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, I call those Brock Lesners, Daryl McCoy. Uh, well, well, I tell you what, you know, these girls right here, they're, they're, they Look know if they swag. keep moving that they're that there's no uh, danger of them getting cold. There's uh, Yeah, you like, the, you like that Harvey. swag. You, here's what I like. You keep that blood flowing. You keep that energy. Yeah. You keep that nervous energy. She's hype. There's Kennedy Harville. Yeah. The stretching, the Brock Lesners, as I call them. Caitlin don't like me calling them the Brock Lesners. <laughs> um, they're ready to go. They, uh, well, who you got here, Floyd Central or Paintsful? Who, who's going to bring home the gold? You know, I, I, who you going with? I'm going with Paintsful on this, Daryl McCoy. I'm I, going with Paintsful. I don't know that this young lady up front here for Floyd Central. She looks yeah. like she's got a. Uh, she got tons of swag. She yep. got the chip on her shoulder. Yeah. Uh, she's got the uh, Josh Detoit mindset. Four by 100, ladies and gentlemen, relay. So you're only going 100 meters and you're handing off. Oh, well, hold on. Where's the? So we're keeping the AFW on. A yeah, AFV. AFV. Oh, what's this, Coach, here? You ain't. Oh, yeah, the mile stop. <laughs> Now, do we know who uh, who's the yeah, uh, let's, front? Let's go. On. Oh, so the, what relay is this? The four by one hundred. So every one hundred meters, we're handing off, and we got Prestonsburg, uh, we've got Floyd Central and Paintsville involved, and it looks like Floyd Central has a three second advantage. Okay. Fifty six seconds is their PR, and let's go over who Prestonsburg has. Hannah Ratliff. Lindsey Stratton, Alyssa Oosley, Jorge, Arana Morris, 
for Floyd Central, Natalie Holly, Carly Rose, Kennedy Harville, Kaylee Hall. For Paintsville, Kathleen Baldwin, Adeline Dotry, Cameron Helton, and Zoe Jordan. That's your runners. Oh, those are some good ballers, Coach. Yeah. Coach, we got Jorge Herrero here with oh, us. He's the, in the house. Uh, exchange student from Spain. Uh, Jorge uh, done a good job, Barry. I think he finished third, right? They uh, done a great job, man. As a uh, uh, three, what draws you to track and field? I have been truly track and field, and I feel really good. Like I have, uh, I practice some sports in Spain, mm -hmm. like here. So I have condition, and I feel really good when I run track. Yeah. They. Uh, uh, well, the. Uh, do you do any other sports besides what we just seen? Will you run any more today? Uh, yeah, I ran uh, four by eight hundred. Okay. I got the uh, first place with my team. Okay. After then, I ran that mile. Later, yeah. I have a one eight hundred bad okay. individual, and after my eight hundred, I run uh, my last try is two mile. Well, well, if you win that two mile, we want to talk to you after, okay? <laughs> Probably I will not, but I, I will try. I will try. You got to represent Jorge for D and D Sports. I will Here we represent go. you. <laughs> All right, Jorge. Thank you. Got Coach Jorge Herrero there. Four by one hundred coming up. Damn. False start, ladies and gentlemen. I hate when those happen. Yeah, that that young man right there, Coach. Uh, you know, he's a friend of my son's. Yeah, and, uh, he, he's a great uh, kid. Yeah, he spent some yeah. time with us at uh, some AAU tournaments, and uh, I tell you, I mean, it don't get no better, man. He he's trying to make the best of what time he's got here in America. And you know? what and what I hear, Darrell McCoy, is he what he was telling you. He has a death sentence. He still has the 800 half a mile, and he still has a two mile to run. Oh wow! Are you kidding That's me? Too, too he, long endurance races. And then right? he just ran the mile. Yeah. Oh my God, he yeah. will be. Oh my goodness, <laughs> going to be shot. You yeah. know, he's a, and, and you know, he's a. He he talks. You know, everybody here at Prestonsburg, he, everybody in this school loves that kid. You know, and they nobody wants to see him have to go back to Spain. Right. But this summer, this May, when he uh, uh, finishes his year out, his visa's up. He said so. He has to go back yeah. and. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's hoping uh, maybe to come back to America and go to college. Right. Well, that'd be great. Here you go. Four by 100. Now, what's taking so long after the false yeah, start? they had a false start. That's what I don't understand. If there's a false start, Coach, why, why does it take so long in between false starts? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Actually, what happened was is the gun didn't go off. Oh, okay. So he's trying to get that fixed. Mm. I think maybe the battery uh, mm. went dead or... There's Mr. Josh Allen, uh, had a nice performance behind us here, Coach. Come talk to us in a little bit. All right, Josh Allen. Four by 100. Again, it looks as though Floyd Central has the time advantage at 56 <laughs> seconds. Dewey Jamerson, he's putting in his miles. Oh, he puts them in, brother. Yeah. He's been working this for two decades or longer. We've got uh, Floyd Central, 56.12, Paintsville, 59.57, Prestonsburg, 103. Those are your PRs for each team. Again, Hannah Ratliff, Lindsey Stratton, Alyssa Oosley, Ariana Morris for Prestonsburg, for Floyd Central, Natalie Holly, Carly Rose, Kennedy Harville, Coach, look, look, Kylie Hall. Look here in the stands. Don Kenner and Kylie Kenner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, you know, two elite athletes sitting there uh, probably doing some homework and uh, working on getting that Division One scholarship. Hey, here we go. Yeah. Another uh, <laughs> issue with the gun. We were on fast track to get out of here before 10. Oh, Coach, whatever happened to ready, uh, let's say it, go. Right. right. <laughs> Just hit it and go. Uh, that synchronized. On your mark. <laughs> that synchronized with this right here, Daryl. Okay. You see that camera? Yeah. So it all, when that goes off, it immediately starts. Uh. 
But you're right. Ready, set, go. Let's yeah. get it. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go. I know one thing. Next time we need to get some director chairs. I mean, yeah. you, you stand all the time anyway. Uh, yeah, it's, them days are about done. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, four by 100 and then up next, we've got the 400 meter. Again, one of my favorites, that's a quarter of a mile and it's a semi sprint, one lap. So you're a 400 meter fan. I love 400 meter. Um, Caitlin ran it her senior year here at Prestonsburg, had never ran it, made it to state. Wow. Running the 400 meter. She got a time of 102. In the 400? Yeah, which is a great time, uh, especially if you've never ran it. Let's see the best 400 meter. Yeah, you want me to tell you what? 108. What movie got me into track and field. What? That what made me want to be a cross country runner? What? Meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that movie? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> that, you talk about a classic. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That is great. That is a great, yep. that is Rudy. a classic. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Rudy, he was a runner, man. He. It, it has uh, the sun has dipped over the mountain tops. Daryl, I don't know if you remember. Well, you're from Belfry. This used to be a drive-in. No, this I didn't. football field right here used to be a drive-in, and I can remember coming to watch ET uh, here. Uh, I can remember coming and watching Freddy Krueger. Uh, <laughs> you can see the Johnson Central boys flexing there. Oh, uh, where they at? Where they at? <laughs> yeah, turn up, fellas. Yeah, we got them. They. I tell you, then them boys right there, look at them. Yeah, yeah, they're one. Look at them. Got the gun show. Look at them. They ain't built like me now. Come on. You better believe it. JC in the house. Yeah. He, oh yeah. That little hoax. Uh, little. <laughs> That's them Jim Matney boys. Yeah. They. Uh, okay, coach. How far are we? Uh, they get ready to do it again here. Um, they're still working on it. Four by 100, a little delay with the gun. That happens almost every event. Um, up next, a 400 meter run. Uh, we also have the triple jump, Thomas Rainey. Okay, the, the one kid, uh, we'll go the Prestonburg kid that finished second, his name's Noah Gearhart. Noah uh, Gearhart. Yep, yeah, the uh, Carly Rose is in it, Bradley Pennington. Says, awesome job, Olivia. I'm catching up with some comments there. Here, Coach. All right, here we go. Here. Where are we at? We're off and running. Let's see if we can get a, a start here. Here we go. There you go. Oh, stumble out the oh. gate. Oh, bring them back. Oh. Jack Dewey no. says, bring them back, brother. Dewey ain't letting them run. <laughs> He said, you're going to oh, have a no. fair start. Oh, well, uh, is, is it the other runner's fault, though, that she stumbled? Yeah, where is Dewey at? He's up in the press yeah. box. The, uh, I, I mean, honestly, it, does that is that normally happen? Or? No, I, I think he saw maybe there was a quick start. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I thought it was just she stumbled out of the blocks. That, that might have been why she fell is because she might have jumped and then jumped stopped the and then yeah. jumped again. So that might, Dewey may have seen something up there we didn't see. Dewey. Yeah, she, she stumbled. You see her? Yeah, she, she's got her hand. She's got some hand, uh, I, some I, asphalt you, you know burn. what I love about this sub? They got tons of swag these relay teams do. Yeah. They, 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 they got tons of confidence. I love it. Again, we've got we've got Prestonsburg, Floyd Central, and Paint Sill in this run, the four by one hundred meter. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. D and D Sports is covering track and field. You knew it was going to be us. <laughs> if there's listen, you know that that's one thing, Coach. You know, uh, you know. That, 
these, all these other stations, networks, all of them, uh, I mean, th they are bringing in a lot more money and funds that makes it possible for them to do this. But, you know, and, and you know, these here, you know, this is a uh, non-sponsored event. And, uh, you know, so we're out here for these kids right now. And, you know, that's what it's about, you know, uh, you know, it's learning the sport so we can make sure that we dominate this sport in, you know, the years to come. Well, here's what I love, Daryl. Four by 100 on that turn, every 100 meters, there's a handoff. So watch this. You better better not blink, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we get a go this time. Again, every 100 meters, there's a handoff. So on that turn. Here we go. Coach, we've we been, what, 30 minutes trying to yeah. get this race started. <laughs> we'll see if we get Thomas right here. We're going to get him on the handoff. There we go. Oh, bad handoff for oh, yeah. Payton. Oh, bad handoff. The now they're coming from they're behind. Going. I think that was Cameron. Tom, Thomas has in the lead. Time. Keeping up with the – how quick these go. runners are. Yeah. Pulling, pulling away down – Another handoff. Nice. Here what comes do you think? Kennedy Harville. Is that a Kennedy good handoff? Kennedy Harville oh. is on. Coach, look at that. She turned our burners on. After burners, you like the form coming in. Oh, oh, we've got a backside. We've got a backside. Second and third. They're going to be a flat, uh, close finish here. Look at that. Harville. Kaylee Hall. Kaylee Hall. Yeah. Now, here we go. We got a strong finish here, Coach. Who's going to get it? Oh, shoot. Oh, photo finish. Shoot. Missed it. I missed it, Darrell uh, McCoy. I My don't... goodness. <laughs> I, am, that, I apologize, folks. They, uh, that one there come down to the wire. I don't know who won it. If it was uh, okay. the way Floyd Central's uh, celebrating, I think they – or uh, – who, who was the uh, last leg of the um, uh, Floyd Central? That was a horrible. Kaylee Hall. Kaylee Hall. Yeah, Kaylee say. Hall brings it home. Yeah. Get, uh, all right. We've got four by 100 boys action. Apologize on missing that photo finish. That was a great run. Th those are big time athletes. We got an interview coming. I like that. There we go, Tom, uh, Daryl. Uh, we're going to send it down to Thomas Rainey. For an interview. Here we go. We should be locked in on it, right, Daryl? Yeah. See if you can hear him. See if we can hear him. Yeah, we in here. Uh, we love it. I mean, it's really fun. We, we're all really excited to start this, and we love it. Kaylee Hall, Natalie Holly, Carly Rose, Kaylee Harvel. Yeah, that's three. personally the 400 because that's what I'm the best at. Um, I really like the 300 hurdles and this 4x1. Uh, our 4x1 is probably my favorite because it's new to us and it's really fun to do. 4x1 or 800. I'm in the 400 here in a second. <laughs> That was a good interview. Yeah. Thomas Rainey. Great Man. interview with the Floyd Central girls there, Coach. Is, uh, you catch them, they was the winners uh, of the relay there, Kaylee Hall. 
Hopefully he can get that Owen LeMaster interview again. Yeah, they, uh, Owen LeMaster, the uh, son of Steve LeMaster. What, you talk about, you've got, you've got, um, um, Mount, who, who's he, uh, Teddy. You've got Teddy, and then you've got Steve LeMaster. Been doing it longer than anybody. Unbelievable. Four by 100, boys. Um, boys, you got two teams. Oh, excuse me, you got three teams, but they got two listed. And for Prestonburg is Alex Harris, Brian Amador, Caleb Gearhart, Isaiah Collins. For Floyd Central, B.J. Peterson, Keithan Moore, Brody Buck, Blake Adams. And a third team is not listed. So... Uh, we're off and running, four by 100. Margie uh, Haley says, uh, good job, Natalie. Said, uh, God love them delays. Coach Keithley knows you can't get out of a track meet without a few issues. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you need this clock. Yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, here we go. We're off and running, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, this kid. Oh. Look at oh. that kid. Speed. Turned on the afterburners. What is that kid's name? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This legs up. This is important. Most important part of it right here. Handoff on that last 100. Here they come. Oh. Uh oh, it's going to be a photo finish, Coach. We get gonna, to one. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. And here comes third. And, and one that's it. Finish, right? No, no, just three runner, three teams. Was they just three in that one? All right. Appreciate it, Jackson. Great run. I was changing angles, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't see who first place was, but um, guess what? Four by 100 out of the way. Last of the relays. Now, excuse me. We still got one more relay, and that's the uh, uh, four by 400 we got coming up. So we've now got the 400 meter. She's going right back at it, Daryl McCoy. She yeah. just ran. <laughs> she just did an interview. She's going right to the 400. Yeah. And, and, yeah. She's What's ready to go. Natalie. Yeah. Oh, that's Natalie. Yeah, yeah. that's Natalie. Yeah. She, I was listening to you. You didn't have their names. Did you? No, we didn't have them. They didn't have them listed. Yeah, they didn't have them on there. It was um, Mason Lawson here, yeah. Jacob Kane. Zach McCourt, they said, yeah. Adam Williams. Adam Williams. Okay. Jacob Kane. Mason Lawson. Mason Lawson. Mason's the one we didn't have. Okay. Yeah. That, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, Jacob Kane's mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jacob Kane for Johnson Central. Hey, Daryl McCoy, Natalie Holly. She is it Natalie Holly? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. She's a, a all defensive player. Uh, she yeah. she made the all defense team. They call her Hot Rod Holly. Yeah, you know what they call her. She's a she she's a special talent. Good, good girl, senior at Floyd Central. Think about that. She just ran the four by one hundred. Yep. She's jumping in and running this quarter of a mile. Guess who she's running against? Carly, Carly Williams. Williams. How yeah. about this? Two of our favorites here. Miss Carly Williams, coach, you've worked, you've trained her in basketball. Yeah, she's came up and worked out several yeah. times. She gives great effort. Thing I love about her, yeah, big time, big time um, work ethic. So we're gonna we're gonna get you this 400. Only two runners. Carly Williams, part of that Betsy Lane Bobcat basketball team, putting that work in, and then Natalie Holly. She just ran. That, that's the type of athletes you have here, 
No rest for the weary. Uh, let's go over here to Thomas real quick. He's got an interview. All right. Or three, yeah. My name's Adam Williams. I've been running track for two years. Mason Lawson, I've been running for two years. Jacob Kane, I've been running for four years. Zach McCourt, one year. Uh, whichever one we win. 100 meter. Four by two. Four by one. <laughs> Using his baton as a mic. Coach Campbell, Coach Campbell. I like to give my shout out to Kodak Black. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Appreciate you. Now, Coach uh, Mason Lawson there. Uh, Mason Lawson is a kid that uh, suffered a terrible injury. Would have been, uh, would have had a chance at the rushing uh, yards, le at the uh, leading all-time, le or the leading rusher here in the mountains, the rushing uh, record, if it wasn't for that injury. And uh, it's good to see him back out here on track and field, getting to finish his senior year off with a bang. Yeah, that, that's big time to be able to come back, recover, and still be a part uh, of the athletics program at Johnson Central. And th there's not a better athletics program in the mountains than Johnson Central. Now we've had some more join here, Jenkins and yeah. uh, uh, trying to see yeah. who, who this other one is We're here. We're gonna go on the 400 and, and it's, um, they have two heats, but it don't look like we're gonna have two heats. Emma Stewart, Ariana Morris, Carly Williams, Cameron Helton, Natalie Holly is your first heat for the 400 meter, ladies and gentlemen, the 400 meter, getting ready to begin. They will stagger it in each lane. Um, Coach, we got people from Kansas. Yeah, you better tune in. in. You better tune in. Kansas, they're, uh, uh, you talk about a, a crazy tr uh, state in terms of track. Yeah. Oh, Thomas has got another interview over there. I don't know if we'll get him before he start or not. No, nah, he's not oh. got it. Yeah, I think they're going to. Oh, yeah. So they're going to stagger this 400 meter, and they'll cut them off blocks. Some like to come off blocks, some don't. Uh, again, you, Carly Williams, I've watched her run, right, cross country. She's gotten better at short distance as well, uh, as you saw in the 100 meter. And then Natalie Holly, we saw what she can do in the 4 by 100. So yeah. we're going to find out here. Uh, supposedly there's two heats here in the 400. So yeah, you see Carly Williams up there. She's got her block and she's ready to go. Yeah, she's getting ready to go. What if we get free concessions here, Daryl? The uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. They uh, they used to take care of me here oh, well, when I came over here. The uh, back in the day when I coached the minors. I, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. you do. Hey, looky here. Look, look at Su Rico Suave here with the glasses. Grant oh, Barney in the house. Brother. He's representing. Yeah. The, uh, he says, America, baby. Yeah. Love it or leave it. Yeah. Here we go, Coach. They uh, getting set on their blocks here. Lights coming on here in Prestonsburg. Tuesday night under the lights. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, they, this right here, you know, the uh, all these fans at home, they've stayed, Coach. I mean, uh, you know, you, we've got more people watching this than we do uh, uh, some of the uh, – well, the, more people's watching this than, you know, some other outlets have, have a big football game or basketball right. game on. And, uh, you know, right here, these D&D sports fans, they're showing how rabid they are supporting these mountain athletes in track and field. Yeah, fanatics, you got to love it. I told you uh, last night, it, it's just another bar being set by d, &D Sports. And, yep. and and we're going to learn as we go. I think we have found some great angles now coming to the next one. Thomas on the other side, us up top, uh, interviews down low. Yeah. 
only going to continue to grow as, as we move along here. We're about 30 seconds away. We heard it. Thomas Rainey. Let's see if he can make it. We got about 20 seconds. <laughs> There's Steph Williams yeah, Steph, cheering on. She's gonna be on Carly, the other side. Yeah. Other side, bringing her home. You better believe it. Tom, <laughs> Thomas is running himself here. He said, "I didn't know I was yeah. coming for the track." We think meet. he's gonna make it, right? Yeah. Here we go. Hey, how you doing, my man? There we go, Coach. Oh. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy here with D&D &D Sports Network track meet. We're off and running. Well, is this four by 100? No, just a 400 meter. They're okay. running a they're running a quarter of a mile, a semi sprint. Now, now look at these two front runners, Natalie Holly and Carly, Carly Williams. Williams, as expected. But we've got that third. Uh, uh, trifecta. Thomas got them over there. Yeah, we. Thomas ca captured Carly, ca passing Natalie. Carly, slightly in the lead. Tough to gauge when you talk about lanes. That outer lane can be deceiving. Carly Williams in the lead from Betsy Lane. We're going to turn it back. Camera, main camera angle. Here we go. We're at 43 seconds. You can see Williams coming down the stretch here, Coach. Natalie Holly on her heels. Yeah, she's going to make that. She's going to make a push for yeah. it. Carly at 55. Here comes Hot Rod Holly and Holly. Carly Williams. She's going to have a small shot to catch her. Don't think yeah. she's going to do it. No, Carly Williams going to win this thing. Carly going to win this. 107. Natalie, 110. 113. For Jenkins and the second and Jenkins runner. 119. That's hmm. Well, we've got one more. I've got one more. Respectable times. Yeah, respectable times on the 400. Uh, congratulations, Carly Williams. Natalie Holly. I think hot, this is hot Martin County, maybe. On her backside. Uh, there you go. She's got to finish strong. That's finish all through you do, here. Right. Yeah, she's doing a good job here, sticking with it. One step at a time. Yeah, staying with her pace. Yeah, finishing. Yep. 151. There you go. Good job. There's your 400. We yeah. got a second heat. Yeah, we got a second heat 400 runners. And here's your second heat. Hannah Antonia, Antonia from Martin County. Cameron Shannon from Floyd Central. Amelia Wallace from Floyd Central. Kennedy Harville from Floyd Central. Reese Blankenship from Martin County. So uh, listen, the Rodney Dangerfield of, of – uh, of uh, high school hoops, girls hoops, right? Uh, I've said it all along. The Rodney Dangerfield, Daryl McCoy. Kennedy Harville getting ready to run the 400. So we got a couple, right? We've In the second heat, Cameron Shannon. Yep. And uh, Kennedy Harville. Uh, we got three Floyd Central runners. And uh, Amelia Wallace from Floyd Central runs a 112-400. Time's not um, um, – times haven't been established for Hannah Antonio. Antonia, let me know if that name's right, from Martin County, and Reese Blankenship, right? So those times – they haven't had times uh, punched in. I know Thomas Rainey's code out there. Yeah, it's dropping. Yeah, you can see him. I mean, he's out there uh, – Cameron Shannon, is it, am, I, am I right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Cameron Shannon here, she's a uh, another star guard for Johnson Central though. And uh, we've got Kennedy Harville yeah. running. The lady in all, uh, the young lady in all black. Um, 
Has to be in Martin County. Is she a Martin County kid? Has to be. Okay. And that's either Hannah or Reese. She looks like a Reese. Somebody let her let us know if you know that young lady right there. A good 400 time for region championship state level uh, to advance to state in girls competition. Uh, 104 or below. Uh, here in this area, this class, that'll probably get you to the uh, state as one of the top two finishers and top two finishers at the region advance to state. 400 meter run, that is one lap around the track, ladies and gentlemen, a quarter of a mile. And it's a semi sprint into the last 100 meters. Good. Thomas getting his workout in. <laughs> We're off and running. Cameron Shannon got out a good start in that yeah. second lane. There's Cameron Shannon. Kennedy Harville. We might have, we're gonna have a couple, it looks like a couple of good times here. Uh oh, Kennedy Harville. I like it. I like it, Daryl McCoy. There we go. Uh, Kennedy yeah. Harville's passing her. Yeah, gassing out a little bit. Harville yeah. kicking it in on the turn. About 110 meters to uh -oh. go. She's even turning it up even more, yeah, Coach. That's, turning it on. Yeah, those afterburners are kicked in. RPMs running high. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, she's got to finish strong. She's going to finish. She's lagging up, oh. Look, gassing a little bit. Yeah. She's got enough in the tank. Yeah. She, 110. 110. There's not. 113. No, one, there's Cameron 117. Channel. 121, and we have a runner who may have hurt herself uh, on the turn. Um, so, great job. And, and Harville, if I'm not mistaken, came away with a victory in this heat. Kennedy Harville, the Rodney Dangerfield of high school hoops. Wow, what a job there for Kennedy Harville. You know, yeah, and you know, she's a teammate with Cameron Shannon, being a backcourt there. Floyd Central, it's got to mean a lot for you to run with Cameron one more time. You got Ronnie Sammons Jr. 400 for the boys. We're going to have three heats here in the 400 for the boys. Whoa. We've got we've got a couple that can flat out go, Daryl, from Prestonsburg. Isaiah Collins runs a 54. Taylor Oosley runs a 54. Wow. Well, the uh, those, those are good times. Isaiah Collins, he's the soccer star. Yeah, you know, he's the one. If you remember, uh, had a horrific uh, leg injury during a game yeah. and uh, broke his leg, and uh, was late coming uh, back this year. Played basketball for a little bit, but uh, they ended up uh, leaving to focus on track and uh, soccer. So, right. Ronnie Sammons runs a 101 in the 400. It looks oh. like we've had some people drop out on the boys' side. I could be wrong. Uh, okay. Hannah is in all black from Martin County. Reese isn't there tonight. Okay. Uh, the uh, Tommy Williams Tackett saying, let's go Carly. Uh, Jack Fan saying, go Natalie. And Eva Bevins cheering on Carly. Uh, Margie Holly cheering on Natalie Holly. So guys, let these let, let these uh, girls and boys 
know who you're rooting for and where you're watching from because when they go home they want to see you on there cheering them on they want to see you like and share this they you know it, we can do our part we can come and we can give the opportunity and put it you know put it out there but you guys are the secret to them being seen you know hit that like and share button you know let everybody know you know we got some elite athletes here in the mountains and you're seeing it here today here at Prestonburg track meet and you're about to see two elite 400 runners if they're here um, it looks like a couple dropped out but we've got Isaiah Collins from Prestonburg and um, Taylor Oosley from Prestonburg, and they're running neck and neck at 54. Ronnie Sammons runs a 101. We seen him earlier. You know, he when he turned it on. You know, I mean, he he's got some uh, he's got some nice legs on him. Yeah, this is going to benefit him tremendously carrying over to basketball, and obviously basketball is his primary sport. And you do this what because. You're an athlete. Mm -hmm. Got Winston Lee here holding the block for the Jenkins. Yeah, Coach Lee. Yeah, well, uh, listen, uh, he might be the most decorated track and field coach. Winston Lee? In, in the mountains. I mean, at Letcher Central, he racked up, Daryl. Oh, wow. I mean, he racked up region championship after region championship and cross country as well. So uh, he'll get that Jenkins program rolling. Yeah, that that means a lot. You know how Jenkins, how much it means to us here at D&D &D Sports. So, you know, the, uh, to see their track and field program. And I even see some of their basketball kids here helping out with uh, Coach Lee. Here we go. Taylor runs a 54, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if he, he can match that. Off and running. Oh, my goodness. Taylor Oosley. Watch for Taylor Oosley from Prestonsburg. Taking the lead, Daryl McCoy. I don't know. He's going to give it up. He ain't giving it up. No. Wow. Yeah, that, that is region competing level running, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching a kid that could make it to state with that type of run. He's got 200 meters to go. Can he finish strong out? Let's go, Taylor! Kick! At 32, you hear kick it, kick it. You hear the coaches telling him to kick on that turn. Kick on the turn, Taylor. He's at 42. He's at 45. He's at 48. He's at 50. 52, 53, 54. 54, right at 55. We're going to get another one. Raleigh's going to get under a minute. No, Ronnie one. Sammons. Comes from uh, second, Daryl McCoy. Raleigh Sammons. Wow. wow. Ronnie Sammons. Yeah, Ronnie yep. Sammons. Excuse me. They, uh, whew. That was a nice run there. That was a nice run by Taylor from Prestonsburg. 54 seconds. Great time on the 400. He's got a chance to. Boy, boy, oh boy, but you better beat <laughs> Javier Polly from Letcher Central because I hear he just broke his 400 record a couple nights ago at 52. So, so what did what, uh, the press usually just run? Ran a 54. Okay. And Javier Polly, I, I call him Javier. I believe it's Javier. Javier Polly ran a uh, oh. 52 the other well, night. Probably Javier. Yeah. But they, J A V I E R. Yeah, they say I say it wrong. So. Uh. All right, we got one more heat. Here we go. Clay Runyon, the seventh grader. Just played in the D&D &D All-Star yeah. game. And now coming out here doing the track and field. Gonna run the 400 meter dash. So is everything else besides the run and finish right now? Is kids just waiting to see yeah, that, well, we've got the 300-meter hurdles, which I love, by the way. Yeah. Great, great event. And then everything else is run. Everything else is yeah. 800, two-mile relay. Mm -hmm. this, this second heat, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Logan, Tussie, Clay Runyon, Joe Jackson, Andrew Rat Ratliff, Adam Artrip. 
those are your second heat 400 All right. runners. All right, Coach, we got Carly Williams here. Uh, you know, just w what event was it she, did she just run, Coach? Well, you just ran the uh, 400, correct? Yeah, Alyssa. Long distance, short distance, Carly Williams getting it done. You better believe it. Yeah, yeah, you know, we seen you beat some uh, pretty notable opponents out. You know, uh, track and field, we see you on the basketball court and how hard you go. You know, the, do you use basketball to stay in shape for track or do you use track to stay in shape for basketball? Um, probably at this point, basketball to stay in shape for track. Yeah. I mean, it's probably my main sport now. Track yeah. Is, so. Well, they, uh, you know, I tell you, watching you today, I didn't realize how good you was at track until we, until we seen you. I mean, she threw down some impressive times, didn't she? Well, uh, not only that, but you talk about the 100 meter dash, unbelievable, yep. and yeah, you better believe it. Carly also is really a great cross country runner as well. Uh, she gets it done a long, long, extra long distance as well. And, and uh, you know, basketball, the uh, next year, you got to be excited. You know, uh, uh, you know the way in basketball, Coach, this young lady here, she never gets credit for how hard that she plays. I mean, she's one of them you got to have on your team. you got to have a Carly Williams. Well, effort, energy, she's a hard worker. I've seen it firsthand uh, in the gym with her. So when you have those attributes, you have a high ceiling of where you can go as an athlete. And it's indicative of what she's doing here in track. She's now been becoming very dominant long distance and short distance, which don't happen very often when you can combine both. Are you done for the night? No, I still have the 200 meter. The 200 meter? Are you going to get us a win? I hope so. All right, Carly. The, uh, uh, if you get us a win, uh, uh, give us a little shoot up here as you cross the finish line. All right, Carly. Thanks for joining us. Good luck. We've been very impressed and had fun watching you today. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Carly Williams from Betsy Lane, guys. Coach, that young lady right there, I mean, you know, it, you can, you cannot not like that girl. No, she's, <laughs> she's uh, humble. She works hard. She does what's asked of her. Yeah, that's your type. Of, that, that, yeah. That's anybody's type of kid. Yep. No hate here, Daryl McCoy. No. Track and field, there's no, no, there's no hate. There's no, there's no infighting or jealousy. No, not at all. Connor Hopkins in the building. We're getting set for the 400. Okay. Second heat. There's Clay Runyon. He's got his jacket on. Is that is that normal kid run with jackets so, on? Sometimes they do. Um, now, Clay Runyon, just a seventh grader. Uh, one, one of the better guards in our area. Yeah. He, second, third team. Yep. Um, all Mountain. Had a good showing at the DND All Star game. Yeah, very good showing. The, uh, I think yeah. he got traded off my team, all yeah. right? Or yep. David's team. Yeah, at the yeah. end, yeah. Yep. The, uh, now he's a kid, uh, uh, Ronnie Salmon Jr., the microwave. Yeah. The, uh, the you know, he's a kid that, uh, you know, Clay Runyon, uh, I think he's about to switch AAU teams, too. So you could you could hear some news coming out of him from the AAU who, circuit. Who was he playing with? Uh, somebody out of Frankfurt. Okay. Here we go. Clay getting out of the gates quick. Nice yeah, little Betsy Lang boy. Yeah, it's got that color, uh, colorful yeah. hair. Yeah. Thomas got him on the back stretch, does he? Yeah. yeah. Nice shot. Nice shot. Thomas can't keep up with him. On the turn, the last 200 meters, you got to turn those afterburners on. Once you kick it there, it's acceleration, acceleration. The 400 meter, a mix between speed and endurance. Oh, look, gassing a little bit, Daryl. Yep. Gassing a little bit, Daryl. You got the Pierre's kid hot yeah. on his heels. Yeah, he does. Uh-oh. Can he get him? Could he get past, Coach? Can he get him? Uh-oh, he's turning it on. Could he? No, he's gonna can't get him. Yeah, he's gonna hold it out. Nice run by the Pierce kid, Clay Runyon, finishing strong. About 109 time uh, with Clay Runyon. Uh, what? Wow, uh, nice that, run. Excuse me. Did I say Clay Runyon? Yeah. Yeah, Clay Runyon. Solid run. Five. 
We got uh, Candace Spalding is in for MC tonight. You will know her as Lady Cards basketball player. Yes, we know Candace Spalding very well. We got a Jack fan saying Ronnie is awesome. Jennifer Horsley says, way to go, Taylor. Go Black Cats. So, uh, seems like everybody's liking uh, the track and field event, coaches. Uh, we have held strong numbers all night long. Well, I'm glad because I can promise you, me and Daryl standing <laughs> up here for five hours. <laughs> yeah. We hope you enjoy it. The... Uh, We've got, uh, we should have one more heat of 400. I don't think so. Maybe, yeah, yeah, here we go. Got one more heat here in the 400. And um, that's going to be Mason Hall from Martin County, Alex Castro Skeen, Skeens from Floyd Central, and Wesley Van Hoos from Paintsville. That's your three runners. In and out the 400 meter run. No times have been. Um, now, who is it? Mason Hall? Mason Hall uh, from Martin County. Alex Castro Skeens from Floyd Central. And Wesley Van Hoos from Paintsville. Wesley Van Hoos. That is your three uh, uh, runners. Uh, any doubt where right. he was from with right. that last name? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Yeah, and I like, one thing I like is when everybody finishes, they stay to watch the big event at yeah, the end. Right. You know, everybody stays to cheer on the other ones. You know, you was right on the money when you was talking about, you know, how they support each other. And, and it's teammates and it's peers and it's yeah. other teams. I love it. it. It's a great environment to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Especially once you really take it serious, those elite runners and elite discus and shot putters. They all bond together, and, and it's such a cool experience to be a part of as a parent and as an, as an athlete. Now, some of them just run it to run, right, Daryl? So yeah. that's okay, too, uh, to have fun, come out and exercise, and, and be a part of a team. There we go. Jackson, we got a pop ready to explode on somebody. Daryl McCoy says, Got to go back. That's going to explode on him. <laughs> you give me about a minute. It'll be about a minute, Daryl McCoy. It'll be, it'll be all right. About 35, 40 seconds. Oh, we're off and running. Last leg of the 400, Daryl McCoy. Let's see who can pull this one out. Here we go. 200 meters to go. There we go, Daryl. We're closing it out. Last heat in the 400. Uh oh, he turned it on, coach. Here it goes. Oh, oh, oh he threw it up. He said, threw, see ya. A little showboating. Said, see ya. Uh oh, don't talk trash. Uh -oh. And he's turning around. De De Deion Sanders. How about this? Talking trash all the way uh -oh. through. Oh, yes, sir. Watch out, young man. <laughs> High stepping in. You got to love it. Yeah. <laughs> Letting him know. And then his girlfriend comes and says, I love you. <laughs> young man, is he running? Here we go. Here you go. Strong finish here by Mason Hall. Or is Mason this the Van Hall. Hoos? Yeah. One of the two. Wow. Yes, sir. Great run. Was that paint seal? Yeah. So that was Van Hoos. Yeah. Well, exciting stuff. Oh, we got an interview. No. No. Thomas. I think he came unplugged. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting deep into the heart of the uh, track meet. And um, we're now finished with the 400 meter. Unofficially, um, unofficially, Taylor Oosley from Prestonsburg wins that event. Up next. Billy Bentley says, awesome job, D&D &D Sports. We appreciate that. 
Go ahead, Coach. Sorry. Uh, no. Uh, up, up next, maybe outside of the two-mile run, the most difficult race, if you take it seriously, of the entire night, the 300-meter hurdles. You talk about you got to combine running, stamina, and athleticism. This is no joke. You're running hurdles for almost a quarter of a mile, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've got another 400. Maybe. I think we still got another 400, Daryl. Wow. Maybe. Two young, two young whippersnappers from Pierce. I told you we were going to bring it to you. Daryl McCoy told you we were going to bring it to you. Thomas Rainey told you we were going to bring it to you. And we got an interview coming right at you. And we'll probably keep it on this. We'll keep it on this. And I'll take my headset off so two. you can hear him. Uh, Isaiah Collins, I've been running for two years. Uh, Taylor Usley, two years. Caleb Gearhart, two years. Brian Amador, fresh year. Uh, mine's probably the 100, 100 or 200. Uh, 400. Definitely have to be the 200. 200. I'm a junior. I'm also a junior. I'm a sophomore. Uh, in the fall, I'll be attending UPIC University and uh, playing soccer up there. And uh, that, that's my plans. So. I play soccer. Yeah, I play a little bit of soccer too. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Go ahead and hit it real quick, Daryl. Right yeah. here. Back to the. All right. The last leg of the 400 after this interview. I think what this is is these kids aren't eligible for high school competition, okay. but they're letting them run anyway from Pierce. And you got to love it, too. The young fellas coming in and putting in work. Absolutely. That's what it's about. And, you know, they got a crowd here, too. Yeah. You, 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 this you, is experience. And you hear from behind us, you got you got a cheering section for them. So yeah. uh, that, that's great to see these young kids work. Yes, sir. Um, he's going to win with a yep. uh, nice, nice lead. Good, pretty good. Uh, yeah, he's saying, too. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know, he, he didn't struggle yeah. at all through that. Uh oh, here we got a race oh. here. Oh, he kicked it in. Yeah. Went from third to second, brother. Here we go. You know, it, if finish. he would have stuck with it, he might could have won that. Yeah, great finish. Good job. Got to love it. All right, now we're moving to the 300-meter hurdles. Um, we'll see where the girls are at, how many we've got. For the girls, we've got two heats, supposedly. And it starts with Paisley Acres of Prestonsburg. Mason ba Ballow of Jenkins. Carly Rose of Floyd Central. Sloan Acres of Floyd Central. That's your first heat. Uh, second heat uh, will be Hannah Spears from Betsy Lane. Lindsey Stratton from Prestonsburg. Lauren Gearhart from Floyd Central. So that's your second heat, first heat. The they will go if you go by times, Mason from Jenkins at 57.9, Carly Rose at Floyd Central, 58. So, so they're neck and neck. So that, why would they bring the hurdles back out, Coach? Right. Uh, I've always thought that too. Why will not get the hurdle, all the hurdles out of the way immediately, but. That 300 meter hurdles comes, um, and then you jump in, I believe, into the Pacific. Yeah, it's the 800. Well, don't you, uh, they still have to run the mile, right? No, they ran the mile, but they have the half a mile still, yeah. following the 300 meter, and then they got the two mile. Oh, okay, that's what they got, yeah. And then they've got uh, the 400, uh, four by 400. 
coach. Yes. Three hundred meters being set up. You look around. And I, and I couldn't be happier to see the crowd that has stayed out here to cheer on these fans, to show their support for track and cross country, uh, excuse me, track and field. A lot of people get times they get that confused. They believe track and cross country is the same thing. Absolutely not. Track and field, totally different sport than cross country. As you see right now, they're setting up hurdles uh, for the 300 meter. Again, that is almost a mile run with hurdles. Not easy. And a good time on this will be 58 or better, 59 or better. A, a, a region contending time will be 56, 55, 54 here in the mountains. You want to get down to a 53 is where you want to be at. 53 seconds. Anytime I say 53, I'm talking seconds. Getting a little chilly here. You can see. You can see uh, coaches with some blankets. You got a Snuggie. Is that what that is? A Snuggie? No, that's just a regular blanket. Kids interact, you love it. You know, unlike basketball, unlike baseball, but uh, goodness gracious, as, as a coach, I never realized and never, co coaching college and coaching professional, I never had to deal with the parent aspect of it until my daughter got in it. And to see the infighting and to see the, the undermining that goes on and the nitpicking and the fighting, it, it's so disheartening as a parent when all you want to do is say, listen, let's work hard, let's do the right things, let's work together, and accountability assessed across the board. And a lot of times, whether it's politics or whether it's agendas or whether it's parents, they get involved and they kind of throw that a wrench into all that. Track and field is a totally different animal. And uh, to experience it and to really get involved with it, not showing up because the, the kids just being a part of it. I'm talking about the real ones, the real ones that put the work in day in and day out and go to every meet, go to the big meets. It is a totally different environment as a parent. And if you want to enjoy an experience and you want to not have that, um, um, what, lack for a better term, just that um, a pressure or, or sense of uh, – uh, worry of what's going on with your child or this, that, or other. Have your child involved with track and field. Um, relationships, uh, chemistry, all that good stuff, it's, the, it's here. And uh, you'll enjoy it. I fell in love with it with, with, when my oldest son started running and my daughter, Caitlin, uh, as we mentioned at the top of the hour, my son, Won uh, several region titles in the mile and two mile in the relay. Went on to Alice Louis College and was newcomer of the year. Finished third in the nation. My daughter won six region championships. Holds every record here in Eastern Kentucky. Uh, we talk about 800 uh, mile run. To, um, I'm not sure on the two mile, but she's went to won six region titles. Think about that. And uh, good job. And. Uh, um, and then, of course, you've got Tyler Hughes as a defending two-mile champ uh, here in cl uh, Class uh, 2A. And um, my son, he's right now the leader in Pike County on the mile run. So I, I've got a long history involved with this. So that, that's where my passion and love for track and field comes from. And uh, that's what you get here. You get a great balance of sportsmanship. You get a great balance of um, laughter and and just a much more relaxed environment, Daryl McCoy. All right, Coach. We got another guest coming up here. Yeah. We got Olivia Ross from Pierre's. Well, I, I know Olivia a little bit. Uh, Leanne Hughes 
at one time Coach Pierce, and of course Tyler Hughes ran with you. So I, I've got to watch her grow up in this uh, sport. So and my oh my, have you have you continued to improve? So talk about your journey in track and field and cross country uh, since it all started at Pierce. Talk a little bit about your running career. Well, we started with a team of one person. Yeah. And then Tyler joined. Right. And we just kept growing. And it's gotten a whole lot better. We're learning how to work as a team. We've gotten faster. We're getting into more events. It's been fantastic. Now, I, I know you was very proud whenever you told me, you was like, you know, we, we don't got any other sports, but we got track and field. You, you know, is that something that Pierre's wants to focus on and bring the best of the best there? Is that, I mean, do y'all take a lot of pride in this? I think so. We're starting to branch out and kind of push that we have those two teams. Yeah. And wanting to know, hey, we've got that. Yeah. Come join it. Even the younger runners, coach, yeah. that we've seen today, I mean, you can tell not, not a lot of schools have that younger kids out. And, you know, whatever y'all's doing is doing right. You know, you as a senior, uh, you know, it seems like you try to be a leader for them uh, young ones. I try to be. I want them to be able to take over the program yeah. and to keep it going as long as possible. Yeah, they, uh, coach, uh, uh, I don't know, do you run any other events today? Uh, the 800 and the 200. Uh, yeah, so she's got a full load still ready to go. When you talk about the half mile still, yeah, that's not an easy task. Yeah. Middle distance, and then she's got the 200. Yeah, difficult races ahead. And what I like is you're mixing it up. Uh, long distance, short distance. So you're kind of carrying the load in terms of points, in terms of uh, representing Pierce, right? Yes. We've got our throwers that's trying to get heavy points. Yeah. And our long jump's been doing fantastic. So, so can we count on you getting us a dub in this so. next event? I hope so. You hope so? Yeah. Do you hope so or do you know so? Well, I've she never hoped. won that one before. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, well, so. well, we're here. We're going to be cheering you on. Let, so me, let me ask you this. What's your uh, PR on the 800? Um, 325. Oh, okay. Well, uh, in, in this oh. event today, that'll be right there. I hope so. Yeah. Well. Well, you got some huge fans. We got some action going on the other side. I appreciate you coming and joining us, and uh, good luck. And uh, remember, you got two fans that's uh, wanting you to win this 800 for us. Thank you. All right, thank you, good Olivia. Luck. Good luck. Right. Olivia Ross, folks. And we're, we just started on the 300, Daryl. Now, this is Carly, or no. Paisley Akers, Mason Ballou, Carly Rose, and Sloan Akers. Again, uh, uh, under a minute, it's a great time. We won't have that officially. Uh oh, it's gonna be a strong finish here, coach. It's gonna be strong. Uh oh, can we get one on one there? Whoa, what a finish. Is that the only ones? We had two heats. We'll see if they bowed out. If not, we're going to the boys. Apologize, we got a little late on that jump, but we want to make sure we got Olivia in. Yeah. Uh, she's one of the veterans in, in the track community now. I believe this is her Thomas fifth year. Thomas has got an interview over, I think. It's three what he's on. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little nervous. There we go. Coach. Coach Huff. What a job he's doing. Yeah, we are ready to go. Thomas, my third year now. Yeah, he's interviewing. I don't hear. We're a little behind. Yeah. I did the uh, Henry Rear Dash. Long jump, triple jump, and high jump. As of now, I'm going on four. Uh, the whole team. <laughs> Play football. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are back.
back here, Coach. I don't know. Uh, the uh, didn't really hear him too good on that one. For those of you that like to run and you play tag, join the team. Now Thomas has got the start right there. That's a good view. I'll pick him out on the. I'll pick him out on that back side. Did you hear what Dewey Jamerson said, uh, Daryl McCoy? Mm -mm. He said uh, the, the kids were out playing tag, and he said, ladies and gentlemen, all the people that want to play tag, why not sign up for track then? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. That's a good way to bait them in, ain't right. it? 300. I love that shot. Yeah. yeah. There's Thomas Rainey, the maestro. And that is a name he has earned. That's not a name that <laughs> – We've thrown yep. out there. No, he, he runs this thing like a finely tuned orchestra. I'm the one always a step behind you guys. All right, here we go. Let's see what he's got. It looks like we're going right to boys action. And 300 meter hurdles. Again, almost a, a quarter so, mile run. Okay. Except hurdles. So you talk about speed, you talk about endurance, you talk about athleticism. And we got Peyton Akers from Betsy Lane, Jackson Burchett from Betsy Lane, and Brody Buck from oh, Floyd okay. Central. Wow. Yeah, Brody Buck with Another, those long legs. Say so go Braden and Brody is what Jack fan says. Brody Buck, if you remember, he ran the 100 and 10 meter hurdles. So uh, Jenny Buck says this is the best sport ever. Jackie Lawson says, thanks, d and I get to watch my seventh grader run for the Jags, watch him from Somerset. Go Marley Grace Lawson. Uh, go, uh, let's go Johnson Central, Marcus Wells says. Lisa Stumbo cheering on Carly Roser. Rozier. Here we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me when you. We'll keep it with Thomas. We're getting ready. Got you, Daryl. Oh, look at, oh my goodness. That's a great shot, Daryl. Wow. Impressive. Yeah, he's kind of getting a little tired right yeah, now. Yeah, gassing tell. a little bit. Brody Buck's on his tail. Brody. Buck coming down the stretch. Can he catch up with him? Brody making a lot of headway on this last stretch. Oh, oh. penalty, penalty, penalty. Here we go. Now, how, how long of a penalty was that? Well, I think it depends on how they'll assess it. Or if they do, I think that's all depending upon uh, what Dewey decides. They may not, a lot of times they don't. Great. 800 meter run. Again, one of my family's favorite sport, uh, events. So we're finished with the 300 meter quick. 8.58, Daryl. We're still probably gonna get out of here at 10. That's okay. Hang on with us. We're getting ready to go with the 800 meter. Let's translate that to you for Eastern Kentucky folks, right? The 800 meter is a half a mile. Oh, okay. Translate it for me, <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> they, uh, coach, we got a, uh, Jag fan says Braden is brand new to the hurdles. Said so go Braden Moore. So yeah, he done a good job uh, there for his first time. And then uh, you got Selena and Hank Williams says, thank you D&D &D Sports. Did you ever charge it up there? Is this his? No. You never charged it up? Yeah. Oh, it's charged. I didn't. No. It didn't charge. <laughs> hey guys, I'm on Nyla. I don't know. Hey, those are great shots. Oh man. 800 meter. It's not, it's not working. We're running this intergender. 
Intergender 800 meter run, the half a mile, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, let me go through the participants. Let's get it real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Lakin Ward, Betsy Lane, Kylie Hall, Kaylee Hall, Floyd Central, Hannah Tackett, Betsy Lane, Chloe Crace, Floyd Central, Angel Harris, Betsy Lane. For the boys, Mason Stratton, Betsy Lane, Noah Gearhart, Prestonsburg, Josh Allen, Prestonsburg, Matt Morris, Jenkins, George Herrero, Prestonsburg, Alex Castro Skeens, Floyd Central, Jacob Johnson, Floyd Central, Jacob Coleman, Floyd Central, Baylor Price, Paintsville, Logan Tussey, Floyd Central, uh, Bartram from Floyd Central, Joe Jackson from Betsy Lane. And I don't, obviously not everybody is running that out of the gate, but they're running in. Oh, we they're, got all lanes filled. Uh-oh, we got a camera on this final lane. Hopefully it's not. We're going intergender with this. To, to, to One, we're getting a little late in the night, so they want to speed up things. So they're going to run boys and girls here at the same time. Now here's our boy Jorge Herrero uh, and Josh Allen back at it. The uh, Jorge all right, Darrell, a good time for boys is 2.15 or better. A good time for girls is 2.40 or better. Pick okay. your winner out of this real quick. Wow. I know who I'm going. Who you got, Darrell? Go ahead. I got the boy from Jenkins. Hey, I like it. Again, 2.15 or better. Yeah, that's what I just <laughs> – 2.15 or better for the boys. Is a good time. It is a good, good, really good time. And uh, two, two in the two forties is a good time for the girls. Mm -hmm. But if you get minus three around here, that's solid. That's not bad. Uh, uh, so, so there's just about 25, 30 seconds between boys and girls, huh? Yeah, Caitlin's PR was a two thirty six. Uh, I think my son's was a two eleven, and those were good. Uh, is it region championship good? It's right there, here in the mountains. It's a different story in Lexington and Louisville. It's neat seeing Katie Joe Moore come out and support all these JAG uh, runners. Coming all the way from Alice Lloyd. Yeah. Anybody else's name I didn't call? Everybody else good? All right, guys, this is three line start. So they're going to go boys and girls. Normally they don't do that. They're going to go ahead and get it out of the way. They're going to run two in each lane. Again, the 800 meter is the half a mile run. For the boys, a good time is 2.15-ish to 2.20. Uh, two, two minutes and 15 seconds is a great time uh, for the mountains. And then the girls, 2.50 or below. Coach, I'm time. interested in these girls. I mean, you got, you got uh, mm -hmm. Haley, uh, you got Kaylee Hall, you got Olivia Ross, you got uh, or Crace. Wow, there's a lot of good runners in We're here. We're off and running. Intergender run, ladies and gentlemen. You can move to that first lane once you cross that 100 meter mark. Actually, a little cl more than that. You see the girls on the back side. All right, here we go. Let's see if anybody can get that 220 or below. That would tell me a lot about what we got here in the region here in Floyd County. So how many times around? Two. Two times around. Two laps, 800 meters, half a mile run. Tough event, especially if you've already ran the mile. And most of these kids did. They ran the mile, and now they're in this. Is that Jorge Herrera? Well, he just got passed. We're at a good time, Daryl. That's that Noah kid, if I'm not mistaken. We're, we're at a good time, Daryl. 107. Uh, we've got three runners with a chance to get 220 or better. See where the girls are at. She's kind of extending her lead. She's at one. She's at 122. All right, on the turn, Thomas Rainey's going to have us, ladies and gentlemen. Your leader from Preston's, Prestonsburg in the lead. Who's in the backs? Jenkins? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got us one, Daryl. 
<laughs> we got us down. one, Daryl. Uh-oh. Jenkins just passed him. We got us one. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a tune in photo finish. Yeah, this is coming down to the end. Who has the afterburners, Daryl? Who has the afterburners? We're going to find out. Look at Winston Lee going down the chair on his runner. Yeah, he knows a little bit about championships. Here we go. Coach Lee says push. Push. Yeah, uh-oh, Coach. It's going to come down. We're going to have to use that one Two, button. 208, 209. Looks like no. we're going to get. Jenkins going to hold on. Yeah, we'll hold it right there. Wide view. 221. 222. Now here comes Jorge Herrera finishing a strong third. The kid from Spain. 232. Nice run. Josh Allen. 234. Right behind him at four. 237. 238. 242. Kaylee Hall. She's going to get sub. She's going to get two, below 250, Daryl. Wow. 248. Wow. Nice run. There you go, Olivia Ross, Crace, Chloe Crace. She, she ain't letting nobody pass her. Look at her. She's staying with it. 304. Great, great run by Chloe Crace and Olivia, Olivia Ross. 308. She got her PR, though, yep. Daryl. She got her PR. Yeah. Good job. Good run. Good run, Daryl. Great run. Yeah. That was fun to yeah, watch. Yeah, yes, it was. All right. We're, we're right through the 800. Yeah. Now, what's all these kids down here on this end for? 200 meter. And then we get to the good stuff, or not so much. You got a slew of kids for, down here. Yeah, 200 meter. Is that where they start? Yeah, they start at 200 mark, and this is going to take us quite a bit of time. Where they finish through here? Right here. Right. Thomas ought to get a different. Oh, we got an interview. Here we go. All right. Uh, about three years, I started eighth grade year. Uh, junior, yeah. Uh, football, football. Yeah. Uh, and just gets me more in shape and keeps me doing stuff during this, like outside of the season. Besides like weightlifting, more cardio. Uh, 110 and 300 meter hurdles. Uh, first place. Yeah. Uh, definitely in the 300 meter. Definitely, that's my that's my favorite one. All right, thank you. All right, Thomas Rainey with another interview post-run. Nobody does it better. It has dipped down. We are definitely in the mid-50s right now. Under the bright lights at Prestonsburg High School. For those that are a little older, you might remember the Prestonsburg uh, football field is home to but where the old uh, Prestonsburg drive-in was. So a lot of history and tradition here, and uh, it's just keeping it going. A lot of great teams these Prestonsburg Black Cats put on the field over the years. A lot of pride in that football program, and, and you better believe it, what Coach Brandon Kidd is doing with the girls' program. I uh, can't say enough good things about that man. A class act, and then you talk about Coach Casey Huff and the energy and enthusiasm he's injected into this program is, is unbelievable. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's a 200 meter. Yeah. The 200 meter and the 4x400 uh, uh, relay is a two mile. All right, we've got about yeah, we're 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 nearing the end, ladies and gentlemen. We're now at the 200 meter, and my oh my, for some reason, the kids love the 200 meter. They love it, Thomas Rainey. We got six heat heats with girls. You want a mic? You want this? Okay. Yeah, we're Thomas Rainey's just working different angles. He's checking it out. I hope for our first event, I hope for the first time that we cover track and field that you say, you know what, for those guys to have zero experience in terms of technicality, the landscape of how we want to, uh, camera angles and things like that, I hope you say, my goodness, they did a heck of a job. Um, again, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of track and field. All right, Coach, I think we're off. I think we got it right Yeah, here. we started the 200 meters now underway. Six heats of girls' action. That's Carly Williams. And Carly Williams, I believe. Uh oh, she is. Uh oh, the paints for girls, she's coming after it. Oh, she's working. Yeah, she she's says, working. hey, you ain't going to walk across that finish line. I'm going to push you. Carly Williams, head down, doing her work. Carly going to finish first. Wow. Nice run. Great run. That first heat, excellent. They got, they got that started quick, ladies and gentlemen. Usually that 200 meter takes a little bit of time. How fun is Carly Williams? Yeah, she's become a heck of an athlete. She really has. And uh, she's, just, she's just dominating the sport, Daryl McCoy. Yeah. She needs to put herself a highlight video together in track and field. Well, you know, that's another thing. You know, if uh, D&D Sports continues to come and do these track and fields, it right. makes it easier for kids to have them highlight. You're exactly right. You better believe I would have put them together if you guys were yeah. around during the time. Oh, we, we got yeah, she's she's that she's, happened from time to time. Yeah, she's gassed, hyperventilating, out of breath. Mm. I've seen kids pass out. I've seen kids just drop. Um, you put everything you got into it, especially when you're an elite runner. Coach Casey Huff coming over to check on her. The uh, next group on the 200 meter is Adeline Dodry from Paintsville, Emily, Amelia Wallace from Floyd Central, Kennedy Harville from Floyd Central. Oh, it's Kennedy Harville in yeah, this Yeah, in the second heat. Yeah. Uh, Prestonsburg, uh, Alyssa Oosley, and Weather Bryant from Prestonsburg. That's your two. I mean, uh, that's your uh, next heat. Heat number two. Yeah, we got Kennedy Harville getting ready to start this heat. Tough to kind of see. Two, okay. 200. This 200 coach. Yeah, this is a 200. 200. Yeah, 200 meter. Yeah. The, they got her on the roster. Yeah. After following the 200 meter, we've got endurance, endurance, endurance. We've got the two mile run. Mm -hmm. So once this 200 meter wraps up, which it takes some time between the girls and boys. We'll have the two mile run. You know, I, They're I, off and running. Yep, there they go. Kennedy Harville shot out of there like a cannon. I believe that was her. Yes, that's Kennedy Harville Ooh. up front. She's out. She's putting a show on. She is leaving the field. She has turned that corner. Uh oh. Cameron Shannon hot on her heels, her teammate. Here she comes up the final stretch. Paintsful making a run for it. 50 pa meters. Paintsful coming on the inside. There she goes. Harville crosses first. Yeah, Kennedy Harville right at 30 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, on that run. Harville wins gold. Great yeah. run by Kennedy Harville there. Yeah, second heat, first place. You know, Kennedy Harville, she's got a, a Kentucky Christian. She's got a lot of uh, schools paying attention to her right now. I would be. Yep. If, I'm, if I'm Kentucky Christian, I'd love to have that young lady in my program. Great run by Kennedy Harville. No, I'm telling you, they, uh, that right there, very impressive. Third heat. Kara Ward, Paintsville. Jada Ren Reynolds, Betsy Lane. Jada Johnson, mm -hmm. Floyd Central. Lindsey Stratton, Prestonsburg. 
And uh, Cameron Shannon, Floyd Central. That's on this next one. Yeah, man. third heat. Now Cameron Shannon was just running. Did she there. just run? So they she went in uh, lane, uh, uh, heat two. So she won't be in heat three okay. if Cameron Shannon ran. Wow, Six. that was a good run. Yeah. Six heats uh, in girls' competition. Here they go. They're they're on the blocks, Coach. Off and running. Yeah. That inner lane, it looks like. I can't see who it is. Yeah. But Painful I, girl. Yeah, I think she's, she's going to make a move quick to push this away. Ward, I think. Maybe not. We've got three, Daryl. Uh-oh, we're going to have a photo, photo finish. finish. Yeah, use that one if we. Oh, yeah, tight finish. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, great finish. Wow. Who was that from Paintsville, Daryl? I think it was Kara Ward. Wow. Yeah. Pretty sure that's who it was. You talk about she should be running hurdles if she's not. Her legs, yeah. She's, she's high stepping. Oh, she, Thomas Rainey finally, <laughs> 30 minutes to go, 40 minutes to go, finally finds some relief with a, <laughs> with a jacket, long sleeves. I want to let you all know I've been banished to the other side of the island over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a great time. I tell you what, we've talked to a lot of kids and have done a lot of interviews. And, you know, these kids really love this sport, Coach. They do. I, I mean, it, it's – and you've got different athletes. I've seen basketball players. I've seen football players, soccer players. Right. So many different people participate. That's the great mix of it, Thomas. You get so many different um, um, uh, athletes involved, um, personalities. It, it really is just a great environment to be a part of. Yeah, it was great. I got to talk to a lot of kids, you know, that I've known over the years with yeah. Jake. And, and uh, I, I tell you, uh, you know, like Isaiah Collins, perfect yeah. example. Young man got injured playing soccer, and right. now he's back. They you said know. that was um, Amelia Wallace. Fargo, uh, okay. I think that uh, ended up getting that that win, and we're, uh, we're now on heat four. Thomas, six heats in the girls' 200, so we're heat four now. Oh, they're off and running, Daryl. Yep. Here they come. Go, Kylie. Yeah. Kylie Marcellette from Floyd Central, Reese Blankenship, Martin County, Haley Gooden, Prestonsburg, Julia. For new Paintsville, Hannah, Hannah Ratliff, Pressburg. This is who's running right now. Yeah, she's going to pull away from this, Daryl. Yeah. The battle's going to be for second, though, Coach. Yeah. Well, we're trying oh, to get that's it. Kylie Kenner, ain't it? That was Kylie Kenner with a first place uh, finish there. Yes, sir. And D Thomas, perfect example. She's a superstar on the, uh, on the hardwood. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she knocked down 10 threes, 11 threes in a game. Yeah, she's second all time, right, Daryl? Is that what it was, second? I think it was 12 threes. I thought it was 12 yes. and second all time behind a girl that hit 13. Yeah. Unbelievable. As a seventh grader. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Thomas, those interviews were great. Um, now, I, I do wish. I don't think the last one, the sound come across. I don't think. I, I thought I heard it, but I could be wrong. <laughs> the only one I wish we would have got because I – Owen LeMaster. Yeah, I love yeah, Steve and Owen. We got – and I'll send him a message and apologize. Yeah. That was my fault. But, you know, we'll get him next time, next event huh. we do. I, I'm telling you, I think I think we've had a lot of people watching, Daryl. Yeah. Huh. Well, look. At least I got a phone now. <laughs> <laughs> No, I tell you that that you're right, Coach. That you coming down the back stretch is something else. Oh, it was great. We're now on the fifth heat, ladies and gentlemen. Amber Castle, Megan Millette, Kylie Kenner. Was Kylie just run? Yeah, Kylie Kenner just ran. She okay. Won that heat. Yep. Well, yeah. then now we're on the sixth heat. They've moved ahead. Marley Lawson, Hannah, Antonia, Zoe Jordan, Zoe Jordan from Paintsville. Yeah, are off and running. I like that stride. 
Oh, the girl, the girl from Pierre's long, long legs. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, look at that stride. Oh, yeah, wow. She's pulling away, too. On the turn, 100 meters to go. Wow. Let's see if she didn't expel too much energy that, early on. Thomas, nope, that's, what I, that's what I thought, Thomas. Did she expel too much energy? I don't know, guys. Her legs, it takes her half the steps. It does everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that girl, she is. Consistent all the way through. Yep. Yeah. Start to finish. Uh-oh, photo finish here, Coach. <laughs> battle for second. Fully central edges. Um, um, yeah. Don't – not sure who that was. It's hard when they get when it gets cold. They put the jackets yeah, on. Coach over the jerseys. They'll put those tough. jackets on. As far as I know, that was the last heat. Girls action. We're moving now to the boys, and this is where you'll see the football players. This is where you'll see the yeah. really athletic basketball players. Yeah, we're getting ready to be in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Two hundred meter, seven heats of action. I tell you what, eight coach, heats, 139 comments and 31 shares wow. already. <laughs> wow! I tell you what, I think people fell in love with track and field. Yep, oh, they have. They, I mean, these right here. You know, we're, we done track and field for the first time, and then, uh, and, and we keep higher numbers on track and field than our competition does on their best football or basketball yeah, game. I'm telling you, this is, this is crazy. And People that, are loving it, and I am too. I mean, it's been yeah. some good races. It's been some great races. Considering it's a smaller event today, mm -hmm. it's been great. That's just credit to our fans, though. I mean, D and D Sports Nation is unbelievable. Eight heats of action here in the 200. Up first, Grant Varney from Prestonsburg. Uh -oh. Isaiah Collins from Prestonsburg. I'm gonna tell you, Isaiah Collins is quick. Guys. Yeah, he is. He runs a 25. Uh, Taylor Oosley runs a 24. Yeah, now Taylor Oosley is the one that you need to watch for in this one. BJ, P this is going to come down to a photo finish, I promise you. BJ Peterson, 25. Brian, no, we got girls 25. still. Are we they still, still going yeah, girls? Still got one more girls. Well, get ready. Main event's coming here in a second, ladies and gentlemen. Last heat, girls action. Yeah, here they go. Off. Oh, it's just. Well, yeah, two runners. Yep. Yeah. Here they go. And it's, sometimes it's deceiving where, where they're in that outside lane. <laughs> it looks like they're ahead. You're right. That outer lane can be deceiving. And then here comes closing the gap on that inside. That 100-meter stretch, it's all about who turns those afterburners on. Yeah. Who's got that extra kick? Uh-oh. Jenkins comes away with this heat. Floyd Central finishing out. Well, one thing, you know, my, uh, you know, my daughter ran, Coach, like I said, and, and Coach Jamerson, uh, Dewey, told her all the time, it's it's you. Yes. Compete against yourself. That's Run exactly your right. best race. You nailed it, Thomas. You know, focus on beating your time every time, and you're going to get better. That's what it is. So even if somebody's ahead of you, you still run as hard as you can because you want to improve and get better. Exactly every right. Race. You nailed it. That's what it's about. All right, I'm ready. Ring hey, the bell. I want this main event. Main event. It's a photo finish. I'm going to have my finger on the trigger here <laughs> because I promise you they're all within a second this heat, ladies and gentlemen, all within a second. They're probably going to have to come back and, and look at our camera yeah, the, uh, to see who pulls it out. Thomas, the, uh, that camera right there, Thomas, uh, scoot it just a little bit to – no, no, leave it where it's at, but just turn it a little bit right there. Perfect. That it? Yep, that's perfect. Right there. All, All right. right. Again, this first heat, Grant Varney runs a 25.78, Prestonsburg. Isaiah Collins, a 25.25. Taylor Oosley, a 24.3. B.J. Peterson, a 25.1. Brian Amador from Prestonsburg runs a 25-6. My goodness, here we go. And you know what I love is watch the kids follow the action, Coach. Right. You know, the thing about uh, track is everybody can relate. I right. mean, everybody when they was a kid, you know, lined up and you raced your best friend. You right. raced your buddy. Yeah, you, you lined up. Hey, yeah, I'm going to race you to the shade tree. Or, right. You know, and, uh, you know, that, that's why I think it correlates with, you know, so many people and why so many people like track and field because everybody can do it. Right. You're right. 
And we really, I mean, it's a little chilly now, but we picked a great night to do oh, it. Oh, this is a great night. Great runner's night, especially if you're long distance. Coming up next, a two-mile run. We got them saying, go, Grant Barney. Go. They're off and running. Uh -oh. they I come. promise you, photo finish here. Let's see who we got. Wow. I think it's Taylor Oosley. Yes. Well, they're coming. On Taylor the McCoy. push. Here uh -oh, they Collins. Collins is up front. Oosley right there pushing the pace. Uh-oh, Coach. Oosley. Uh-oh. Oosley's going to win. Wow. Close call for third. I think Oosley got the – tell you, that kid's he, quick, man. Hey man, let me tell you, he turned it on probably the last uh, – He did. Yeah. Last 50 he yards. Did. Yeah, because – 50 meters, I guess, right? And you could see Collins right now. I mean, his leg's still bothering him. He's not back from that leg injury 100%. I'm going to tell you what, though. Before he got hurt, he's probably the quickest kid I've ever yeah. seen. Really? Oh, wow. my goodness. He, he's special. Oh, I'm telling you, you should have seen him on a soccer field, basketball court, whatever you want to do. Second heat, Blake Adams, Floyd Central, Jeremy Gearhart, Prestonsburg, Gavin Gibson, Jenkins, Caleb Gearhart, Prestonsburg, Carter Akers, Prestonsburg. That's your second heat coming up. Now, Carter Akers, I mean, he's a kid to watch right here. Yeah. He's quick, yeah. too. He's going to be my uh, – I, I don't know that Gearhart kid. He's, uh, yeah, he's pretty quick. Yeah, he's pretty smooth. We're not technical like Coach Keithley. We said they're just quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, your daughter was a long-distance runner, Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she, did the, she did the mile, the two-mile, and um, – Then she would run cross-country cross country as well. She <laughs> held the record here before some – Keithley girl came along. <laughs> Guys, we got Timothy Eplin tuning in. He is the, if I'm not mistaken, the KHSAA champ in eSports in Madden. Oh, wow. wow. So, yeah, that's Here huge. Here we go. We're off and running, Daryl. Here they go. Somebody's out ahead quick. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Prestonsburg. I could be wrong. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's uh -oh. Carter Akers, I think. Yeah, here comes Akers. Oh, on the turn. He is moving. You got two Prestonsburg kids here. Looks like he's going to uh, pull away. Yeah. No, that's not Carter. It's Caleb something, they said. Yeah, two, uh, two black cats look tough there. Yeah, and a Jenkins kid come in third. Third heat up next. Selena Mullins, uh, the ND Sports All Mountain team member, tuning in. Billy Mary Collins says, way to go, Isaiah. Led the state. In the rebounder for yeah. the guard position. Are you kidding me? I mean, not state. I'm sorry, the region. Yeah, That's led region. the region as a guard. That as a rebound. guard. That is nuts. 13 that rebounds you? a game. That's it, tell you. Mason Hall from Martin County. Bry Bryson Ash from Betsy Lane. Alex Harris from Prestonsburg. Braden Moore from Floyd Central. Braden Moore. And Baylor Price from Paintsville. That's your next team, ladies and gentlemen. What, what's the big – I mean, you see more 200 meter. What's the uh, big, what big attraction to the 200 meter? I, I think, and just to be quite honest, Thomas, I think, I think the athletes believe it's the easier event. Well, well <laughs> I, I think it. I think it's it, it's the one where you you line up, and if you want mono e mono, if you want to outrun, because Isaac Dixon, that's his star event. You yeah. see all the football players do it. I think it correlates well with football. A lot of, you know, when you go into these combines, the NFL combine, that's what they run is the 200. So that's well, why I think there's such a. Well, you're right. But then you get the other athletes that run it for fun who say, put me in the 200. So yeah. you, get the, yeah. you get the football players, basketball players, and then you get the ones that want to run it for fun. Yeah. So it's always loaded. Yeah, I, uh, uh, from, from what I <laughs> see, you know, when it comes to football, you know, just talking to them and stuff, this is the one that everybody wants to be in. Oh, oh we're off oh, here. Oh, 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 yeah. stop, stop, stop. Dewey calling it back. Yeah. Something with, with the timer. Yeah, I don't think the timer was set. Yeah. You know, uh, got to give a shout-out to Prestonburg administration. I know you all have done that several times yeah. for allowing us to come down and cover yeah. this. All we did was send a text. Can we do it? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Response. you got to love it. And you got to love uh, their investment in the student athletes. And this is just another avenue to expose their school and their program. Yeah. 
Ian. Yeah, we'll have it. All righty, we got a lot of people tuning in, checking it out, stopping by. Tell you what, it's been a good di good day. I yeah. had a good time out there talking to. Them. Got to talk to a lot of coaches, hadn't talked to in a while. Yeah. Well, I have a feeling that uh, you know there's going to be a lot of sponsors reach out wanting us to come back to track and field <laughs> already after won. seeing these numbers. One's already talked today. Yeah. The, Just uh, tune me out there. We'll do it. By the way, guys, make sure May 17th you go out and if you want a better Floyd County, vote Willie Crace for Judge Executive. The, uh, we also uh, want to Brandis Bradley, vote for Brandis Bradley, and Stacy Mead, John Hunt, Randy Woods. Those are all people that step up, support the mountain athletes here in Floyd County. If you want people that's going to support these mountain kids, put them in office. They're the ones that you know is going to have your back in the end. 200 meter, third heat, getting ready to begin. Here we're getting ready to roll. Here we go. Uh-oh. Off and running. That second runner. Looks yeah, like he's coming. The Ash kid from Betsy Lane. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I li I really like him. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be close. Yeah. Looks close right here, Daryl. Are we going to have a photo finish, Coach? I think so. Get the camera ready. Yeah. Yep. It is. No. Uh, pulled out. A pulled away there. a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, nice run. Heat four. How many heats of boys do we have? They have got eight heats tonight. Wow. The uh, yeah, I, I, I've had I've had a lot of fun covering tonight's events. I have too, man. Yeah. I, yeah. Honestly, like I said, I watched it when Maddie ran, but yeah, you know she. Unfortunately, the distance runners are always the last. Yeah, <laughs> right. So you didn't have to rush down here. Exactly. Now, now what, Braden Moore? Uh, we didn't get his time, did we? No. Yeah. Heat four, though. Braden Goble, Prestonsburg. Greg <laughs> Ramey, Paintsville. Uh, Sheston Johnson, Floyd Central. Keith and Moore, Floyd Central. Josh Elkins, Prestonsburg. That's your heat four coming up. Now, Dakota Dalton, sixth grade standout uh, from Chapmanville, tuning in. Uh, Multi-sport star there for the Tigers. Now, is, wait a minute. Is this heat four or heat five? It's heat five, I think. Okay, heat five. Tyler Cole, Prestonsburg. Wolfgang Huff, Prestonsburg. <laughs> Nico Solorzano, Prestonsburg. Clay Runyon, Paintsville. Jake Cottle, Floyd Central. Here we go, Coach. It's off and running. Yeah, Heat 5. Here we go. They're moving. Hey, this is bunched up too, Darren McCoy. Yeah. yeah, got two Floyd Central kids. Wow, look at the big man on the far. He's hustling. <laughs> wow. He's working. He's trucking along. Yeah. Uh-oh, we're going to have – Here's the photo finish, Coach. Yeah, it's going to be, be yes. the third. Uh -oh, the there it is. Third. Wow. Wow. What a finish there. Wow. The big man showing some wheels there. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was a great run. <laughs> yes, it was, man. You could tell they wanted it. All right. I believe we're on heat six. If I haven't lost count. Grant Wright from Floyd Central. Adam Artrup from Floyd, oh, this is all Floyd Central. Adam Artrup, Logan Tussie, Gabriel Hensley, Dagan Little, seventh grader. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Dagan Little, 10th, sophomore. So all Floyd Central, so you can't lose here, Daryl McCoy. They, uh, Braden, uh, uh, we don't have his uh, – official time they've not sent it down yet that's what i was trying to figure out what braden moore's time was but we'll try to figure that out for you jag fan remember the only thing that we have ladies and gentlemen is unofficial yeah and the the network the system that dewey has dewey is up in the press box with it so if he was a little closer we could we yeah. could probably reel off those numbers to you well, what we got to start doing is we got to start putting a mic up there oh, with him, too. That's a great. Yeah. yeah. He'll say, don't give me any more work. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is heat six. Track and field. Setting the bar. We don't just set the bar. We break the bar. <laughs> exactly. That's it. We are. Uh, what is it, Calipari? We are the bar. That's exactly right. <laughs> and, and, folks, I think by now, um, through the years, you guys realize that now. Mm. 
they uh, well you know it, it it took you know and and the D&D sports fans you know six years you know and now you know they just can't deny something right. there's nobody even close we our next closest competition we have four times <laughs> what they got as followers yeah, and, uh, that's unbelievable that tells you how rabid that the D&D sports fan base is we're off and running yes we are we've only got two in this heat two uh -oh, the big man rolling Let's see who he got a Prestonsburg kid. Yeah, this is a, uh, the heats are a little messed up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so forgive me, because I don't think this is what they had initially lined up. Here you go. Come on. Like see him, strong finish here. Yeah. Big fan. Staying consistent. Yes, I like it. There you go. His name is Tyler. Yeah, great work. You see the sportsmanship, high-fiving each other. You know, this finish line, uh, it ain't good enough for me, Coach. We need some of them little triangles to hang across here. We need to make <laughs> this thing fancy. Right. Yeah, <laughs> add, yeah, a little pizzazz to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we need to know it's a finish line. Right. <laughs> Hang some Christmas lights yeah, that's around a, the. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah, that's what we need. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, I, again. Yeah, I'm sure Should. Thomas, give him a minute. He could throw <laughs> some cameras down on that. That's uh, right. On them cords. I believe this is heat seven, ladies and gentlemen. And Todd Crace, Wesley Van Hoos, Connor Collins, Betsy Lane, Paintsville, Floyd Central. Betty Lane. And again, it could be way off because the last two uh, haven't been uh, exactly who they said were running in uh, the heats. So. so Johnson County or Floyd County, who who will win here? I can't. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm getting old, Daryl. There we go. They're getting a kick off here, Coach. Here we go. Off and running. On the turn, here we go. Huh. Huh. Yeah, trying to get the best angle we can yeah. for you. Oh, we got us a, let's see if I can get there in time. There we go. Oh, he's gonna pull away. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you tuning in, you enjoying this, you're a part of history in Eastern Kentucky. This isn't hyperbole. This isn't over hyping the deal. This is the very first track and field event covered in a long, long time. And we're nearing the end of our uh, night here. We've got one more heat, I believe. Could have two. Following this. Thank you, guys. Following this night, following this event, we'll have the 3,200 meter. And for us Eastern Kentuckians, what is that? That's the two-mile run uh, coming up. Be safe. Um, so I believe this is the last heat. I could be wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here's this uh, uh, this uh, Asian boy from uh, Pierre's. We, Daryl, we, we've got a Snuggie. Is that a Snuggie? <laughs> mm, is it? I haven't seen a uh, You remember that infomercial? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Used to come on uh, all the time on yeah. e, e television. Yeah. You know you're a big dog when you're rocking a snuggie. <laughs> I, I like this uh, Asian kid from Pierre's. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, uh he's got some wheels on him. Yeah, you know, we seen him uh, earlier. Have a very impressive uh, run. Unbelievable! What a night. Coming to the guts. Coming to the grit event. The two mile. If you if you can stay around and run the two mile after being here all day, uh, you're mentally tough. All 
Let's see. They're on their blocks. Oh, there's a lot of Pierre's kids. Is this all Pierre's? I think it is. I think there's five, one, two, three, four, five Pierre's kids in this one. It's off, Coach. Off and running. Or no, I like Betsy it. Lane. I like it. He got a shot out of there, Daryl. Yes. On the turn. That turn's so important on the 200 meter. How do you uh, adjust on the turn? Now, here's the Pierce kid I like. Yeah. Pierce closing. Pierce closing. Pierce closing. Not going to have yeah. enough time. Not going to get there. Messy Lane. Pierce. One, two. Pierce going to finish third. Great job, young man. Oh, he's still. <laughs> yeah. He was looking. Where you at? Yeah, it was a little Deion Sanders. Yeah. Another Pierce. Gotta love it. Another Pierce. Uh oh, he turned it up there at the end. That's what you want to see, coach. You know, it looked like he put his shoulders down. He had given up, and the fans. Uh, Will just he? Get, yeah, they gave him a cheer, and all of a sudden he pumped up. The uh, he he pumped up. It's kind of it's kind of that a uh, little bit of something extra. Hulkamani, he hoped up. He yeah. felt the crowd. They gave him a little something extra. They, uh, you know, that's what that that's what you know that that's why it's so important for fans to cheer on people. You want to know, you know, if you're you're you have an impact in a basketball game, a football game, that right there tells you the same kind of impact that you have. Oh yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah, fans matter out here, especially when it's cold. You've been out here since five o'clock. Battling the elements, it went from warm to cold really quick. I think we got one more, don't we? Last heat of action, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, your last heat here in the 200 meter. Again, the names have been, uh, they're not exactly with each heat, so no reason to. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll go ahead. Jonathan Tussey, Alex Castro Skeens, and Josh Frazier. That's your last heat. Yeah, Josh Frazier. I, uh, uh, I don't know. I seen him here earlier today, but he's not uh, running. Not I don't think. Okay. Yeah. So he's bowed out. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Last heat here in the 200. Oh. Unless there's another Josh Frazier from another school. Off and running. Oh, John Central kid. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> he said <Steve>. no. <laughs> This ain't happening today, fellas. This is my event. He's about to uh, he's about to push this lead out. Nice run. Nice run. Lucky there. You got to love that. Great run by the big oh, wow. fella. I think it, I think his name's Adam Adam Williams. Is I think his name. Yeah, cuz that yeah. The heats were wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We apologize. Yeah. All right. 200 we're done. Yep. Guess what? It's now time for the grits, guts, determination. We've got the 3,200 meter coming at you, the two mile run. Wow. I'll, I'll, bail, I'll bail out of this one. Right. <laughs> I don't even want to watch this one. Right. <laughs> Hannah Tackett from Betsy Lane, Haley Little from Floyd Central, Delilah Rodriguez from Floyd Central will be your two mile runners and the girls. I gotta imagine they're gonna run an intergender to finish up. So let me go ahead and give you the boys. Matt Morris, Ronnie Sammons. Oh, Ooh. Wow. let's see if he stays in yes. this. Ronnie Sammons from Floyd Central. Noah Gearhart from Prestonsburg. Jo uh, George Herrero from Prestonsburg. Hooray. Hooray. That is your uh, two mile contestants. I'm gonna bet, do we put some together? So we can finish this out, oh, and we'll see if we've got a four by four hundred. This Gearhart kid, uh, and we do uh, have a four by four hundred. So we've got two events left. Boys and girls, two miles. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. We gotta love Dewey for That's, that one. Yeah, Ronnie Salmon's there. He's he's putting them in, boys and girls. Two mile run. Tons of respect for you guys. Let's get that clock ready. I want to see what they got. Good. All right. Our last two events of the evening, two mile, followed by the four by 400. 
They're going to run this intergender. Yeah, he knows what's getting ready to happen. These kids, they're saying, what did I get myself into? I got to run two miles. Are you kidding me? Caitlin somewhere watching saying, I do not miss this at all. Look at these shoes. Yeah, you got to love Noah it. Noah Gearhart's got on. Ton, uh, you know, he's swagged out. What are them, Asics? Uh, yes, indeed, Asics. Yeah. The, uh, I, I, I could go out there and beat these kids in a pair of British Knights. <laughs> L.A. Gears. Oh, you better yeah. really. Oh, I forgot about L.A. Gear. Yeah. Man. Remember the British Knights? You had the yeah, British little, box on it. And everybody said that, that, that they wanted that little gold yeah. logo. Yep. All right. The younger uh, Jamerson. Here Clay, I think is his name. Clay Jamerson. Grani Sammons Jr. Wow, the microwave. Going to run the two mile. That tells me a lot about his mental toughness and why he's so good on the basketball court. Because uh, if you run this, you're going to be mentally tough. Eight laps, two miles, the 3,200 meter. You're going to enjoy this, ladies and gentlemen. Get you, get you a beverage. Pull it up on your TV screen. It looks like Ronnie Sammons is the favorite in this, Daryl. 11.42 says PR. I, I, this is a strong field here. You know, I like both these Prestonsburg boys. Yeah. You know, and Ronnie Sammons, obviously, you know, I mean, you know, the microwave, he's going, he's going to heat up here. The, uh, the, the girls is a little down. Uh, Haley Little runs a 16, and uh, Delilah runs an 18. Delilah. Yeah. We're off and running. Eight laps to go. Just You're in for a treat. I think Thomas has them around there. Yeah, Thomas does. Thomas, uh, there, I love, I still to this day tune in to watch and listen to Delilah. Yeah, I did too. Life. When I used to come from uh, North Carolina, uh, I'd always take turn it to Delilah at night. I'd travel at night, right? Listen to her tell the stories, you know. Uh, so and so, I'm sending this out to my <laughs> yeah, husband Robert. I love it. <laughs> Riley Salmon's in the lead. Uh, excuse me, Ronnie Salmon's. Yeah. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, Ronnie <laughs> Salmon's. Girls on the backside. How about uh, right behind him though? You got uh, I think no, I think it's Noah Gearhart's his name. Who decides to break first? That's what it is on the 3,200 meter. When are they going to break? Do they break? We see some of the fans piling out. The strong survive till 1030, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We'll be here until they shut the lights out. Well, tomorrow, 1230, you know where I'll be? You have a signing, right, Daryl? Paintsville High School. What's going on, Kobe Fugit? Kobe Fugit. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. Ronnie Sammons with a slight lead into lap one. A 120 pace right now. The girls uh, kind of just setting the tone, setting the pace. Ronnie Sammons setting the pace. We got us a nice little run. They've kind of separated from the pack. There's Delilah. Again, uh, these girls are running. You got to give them a ton of credit. Again, they're not all. They're not ultra elite in terms of this event, but they're going to give their team points, and that's what matters. So this could come down to the wire in terms of which teams win today. Let's go back to the leaderboard here. Let's see uh, what Ronnie Sammons and Noah Gearhart. Noah Gearhart, you know, he's in no hurry to pass Sammons. He's, he's just running right there, keeping it in reach. Yeah. A little uh, ploy, psychological yeah. ploy, though, there. If I stay on your heels long enough, you're going to break. I told you the uh, – so he's letting Ronnie set the tone. Uh, 248, 248 after a half a mile. That's Jorge Herrera. 
Yeah, he's uh, got a few months left here in America. Straight out of Spain. Yeah. There's Thomas got Ronnie Sammons. Delilah at a 330 pace after a half a mile. Haley Little. Haley Little going to be about 340 after a half a mile. Six laps to go for the ladies. Now let's go back down here, check out the leaders here, Coach. Ronnie Sammons, he's put a little distance, uh, not much. What, about a 10-meter yeah. advantage? Yeah. Gerhardt staying right with him. but And, again, it could be a ploy. He's going to, Again, who has that afterburner zone on lap seven? Sometimes it's a little easier to trail in this event. Let's see where Ronnie's at. After three laps. 418, 419. Ronnie turned his head just a little bit to see where the competition was at. I'm never a fan of that. Don't turn your head. Stay focused yeah. on your run. Stay focused on the finish line. Right. Do not focus on your competition behind you. He keep Ronnie's Ronnie has to stay focused on his race. So is this the last event of the day? Uh, no, I got one more, the four by four hundred. That's if there's teams for it. Ronnie don't uh, look back. Yeah, you heard that right. Well, Somebody said don't look back. Ronnie yeah. continuously is looking back. He's taken away from his oxygen, airflow, and he's also getting into his mindset mentally. Yeah. Stay focused on your race. Got to stop looking back, Ronnie. You've got, he's got a nice lead. Delilah's at a 5.30, three laps in. Here comes Ronnie on a mile, Daryl. Yeah, I think they're about to lap the females. This is a nice first mile. He's going to be under 5.50. Right. 5.48. Nice. 552. Nice. Ronnie's got him. There he goes again. Got to stop looking back, young fella. Stay focused on what you're doing. You know, and the thing is, you know, Ronnie, you know, he's bigger than most of these kids. Yeah, he is. And, uh, so that he, shows you how tough yeah, he is. Him doing it with his size, that's very impressive. You know, usually these endurance, you see kids that, you know, uh, 130, 140 kids, you know. Jorge Herrera. He's uh, it was about 6:30 on his first mile, so he's got four to go. Huh. Ronnie has what? He's at about 50 meters, Daryl. Yeah. Extended his lead. <laughs> this lap's going to be key to um, who's in second, Daryl? Um, uh, I think it's Gearhart. No Gearhart, I think. Noah something. Yeah. This is going to be key for Noah to stay in the race here. This sixth lap. Yeah, Ronnie's starting to put some distance yeah. between if, if he's going to make a run at winning this, uh, Gearhart's got to pick it up here. Ronnie right now running a nice race. There's but the microwave. He's just now heating up. 7-17 going into lap six. 7-25 going into lap six. Delilah, this will be lap five for her. Delilah is on lap five. Ronnie's now extending that lead. He's now at about 80 meters. Thomas doing a great job. The leaderboard, Ronnie Sammons. Let us know, make sure that's Gearhart. 
they said his name earlier. It's Noah something. On that paper, do you got a Noah from Prestonsburg? Noah Gearhart. Yeah. There's Haley Little. Yeah, right now she's at the back of the pack, but she's got her eyes on Delilah. And again, it's all about points. Sometimes yeah. it ain't about this is my event. It's about securing points for your team. Let's see who we got down this final. Ronnie Sammons. Now, how many has he got two more after this? Yep. He's at 835 right now. Two laps to go. He's got an 800. As a 3,200-meter runner, unlike the 1,600, this is where you pick the pace up. You know you got two to go. Create some separation. Let's see if Ronnie continues to do that. And then you got Gearhart right here. He's still got his eye on the prize, but he's breathing heavy yeah, right now, Yeah, he's breathing Coach. heavy. Two laps to go. Yeah. He's going to be right at nine minutes with two laps. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ronnie on the turn. down the stretch toward us. Haley Little now starting to, starting to close in on her as we're coming down these final stretch here, Coach. Two, two laps to yeah. go, I believe. No. They got three, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Haley Little, I mean, she's closed the gap on Delilah. She has. Running a solid race. Jorge Herrera. I think this is, he'll have two after this. And then Ronnie Sammons now, uh, can Ronnie Salmon's lap Jorge Herrera? Ronnie's that got, would be impressive. Yeah, Ronnie's got one lap. Yeah. See so if he turns the afterburners on or does he just on, get it done he finishes it out. Yeah. 10-21. 10-21. One lap to go. Ronnie with a sizable lead here. Ronnie Salmon from Floyd Central. There he goes. Picking yep. it up, Daryl McCoy. Uh, yep, you like to see that. Yeah, creating separation. Yeah, uh, he's 1035 uh, for uh, Gearhart from Prestonsburg. I don't see Gearhart catching him. No, he's not going to catch him tonight. It's going to be Ronnie Sammons. Yeah, I like that effort right there. That's why he is who he is on the basketball court. That's why he is who he is. Yep. Oh, he's going to, yeah, multiple. He's going to lap. Oh, he lapped Jorge Herrera. Now, that's impressive. Jorge's a nice runner. He's at 11 minutes right now. Let's see if he gets under 12. It looks like he's at 1140, 1142. He has a chance to get his PR. I don't know if he realizes it. 11.42 is his PR. Uh-oh, he's, he's, he's running, Coach. He's turning it up. Ronnie Salmon's coming down the stretch at the two mile. He's going to get his PR, Daryl. He's going to get his PR. There he goes. He's finishing strong. 11.37. Wow. Got his PR. Lock it. Ronnie Salmon's Jr. setting a PR, personal record here today. What a job right here. He's going to get his yeah. as well. Come on, Jorge. 11.53. So there's your first two, and he got – no, excuse yeah. me, he's got one more lap. There's Noah Gearhart. Yeah, Noah Gearhart. Noah Gearhart, 12 exactly. Let's go, let's go. He had 12. Yeah, 12 flat. That is his PR by 20 seconds, Daryl. So two PRs. Yeah. Great job. Now you look over here, Jorge Herrera. Yeah, he's trying to stay strong in this one, finish it out. <clears throat> Two PRs, you like to see that. Oh, look at that, Daryl McCoy. You caught it. Yeah, they uh, Haley Little passed her, didn't she? Yeah, she is now passed her. Yeah. Haley Little, and, and I tell you, Haley Little, she, she don't even really look that tired, I mean. Yeah, she's just doing yeah, she's just doing, doing her. Yeah, doing her thing. Staying consistent. Oh, 
Let's jump over here, Jorge Herrera. Finishing, finishing his final lap. Yeah, Jorge Herrera. Jorge's gonna get under 1330. He's gonna get his PR yep. as well, Daryl. Did, did he? Yeah. By 13 seconds. Great wow. job. Nice run. Yeah. No. Three PRs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> These young ladies have one more lap. They got one more after this. Yeah, one more. Right. And they look like they're gonna get their PRs. So great running night for sure. You better believe it. Well, you wonder if it's like, uh, you know, I used to do a little drag racing back in my day, and, you know, you wonder if it's like uh, cars, if uh, when the weather's colder, if your car runs better. 14 minutes flat, one more lap to go. Yeah, both of them most likely will get their PRs if they push. We shall see. Good night when you get your PR. Thomas Rainey's got us on the on the turn. Fourteen fifty. Haley Little has a shot. That's Haley Little, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, that's Haley Little right there. Yeah. 16.06 is her PR, Daryl. Let's go, girls! 15.07 on the turn. Can she get there under a minute? All right. It's going to come down literally within seconds if she gets her PR. Fifteen thirty, ladies and gentlemen. Her PR is sixteen oh six. She's got thirty six seconds to get there. She's going to get a pup, uh, personal record here. Fifteen forty. Fifteen forty five. Fifteen fifty. Fifteen fifty five. PR by 11 seconds, Daryl. Now let's bring Delilah home here. Delilah's going to get her PR. Her uh -huh. PR is 17.58. Oh. She's going <laughs> to obliterate it. She says no guts, no glory. Yeah, she's, she's going to get her PR by over a minute. Her time on the 3,200 meters, 16.15 unofficially. Wow. wow. PRs, 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 <laughs> Daryl McCoy. Great job. Man. There you go. You see the young man with the Snuggie on. You was right. Yeah. And not only that, it's a pink Snuggie yeah. at that. You know, <laughs> you know you're a bad man when yeah. you rock the pink Snuggie. <laughs> now we got one more event one left more. to close the night out. I tell you, you're talking about Iron Man, Coach. I'm yeah. ready. Uh, me and you and Thomas, we can do the Iron Man triathlon. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, we've stuck with this thing all day long and been right here uh, – bringing you the action and i'm uh glad to be here oh i listen that i i'm telling you as proud as i was during the dorton event the county championship i'm even more so here to be here today bringing you these student athletes in track and field it, it this is really a groundbreaking moment four by 400 what is that ladies and gentlemen it's the four by 400 relay where you run one lap a quarter of a mile and uh, four contestants. So you run a total of a mile. Every runner has to run one lap, 400 meters. That's how that's going to work. And it looks like there, there is no competition for either team. So they're just running for points, Daryl. Oh. Okay. So we're going to have a boys and girls intergender run. And it's just for points in time. Got some uh, comments here. We got Jack Fan says Ronnie could run for three days. Said uh, go Delilah. Jack Fan says Ronnie 
uh, loves to run. He's a beast. Says Delilah is an eighth grader. She's an athlete. Yeah. Blake Adams, my boy Ronnie, is a dog. Logan Newsom says a lot of respect for these athletes. Uh, these meets last uh, a long time. Makes it tough uh, being a student athlete, but that's uh, part of what makes the sport special, mental toughness. Right. Four by 400, uh, only one team for the girls, Floyd Central. It's, uh, no, excuse me, that's the boys. Let me go ahead and give that to you. B.J. Peterson, Brody Buck, Braden Moore, Blake Adams. Their best, their, their PR time's 4.05 on the girls. Floyd Central's running. Natalie Holly. I don't see Brody Buck out Where's there. There's Natalie. She's back. Hot Rod Holly yeah. back in the house. Kaylee Hall. Uh, Chloe uh, Craze yep. and Kennedy Harville. Look at this. Here we go. Now this is a this is a four by one hundred team right here, Coach. When you look at this, stars everywhere for Floyd Central. Kennedy Harville in the house. Kylie Hall, yeah. Chloe Craze, and Hot Rod Holly. We finishing out with the bang. Four by four hundred. Yep. Four by 400, You're, uh, each runner is running a 400, running one lap, and they're handing off. No competition, ladies and gentlemen. We're running for points, running for time. Getting ready for region. Here we go. I became a fan of Miss Natalie Holly. I like how she competes. I like her uh, personality. <laughs> Under two. She... Here we go. Let me get that Thomas Rainey angle. going to hand off here. Let's see what the time splits are. You call this split time. So just kind of gauge where you're at. BJ right now at 52 seconds. That's going to be a great time on this right here. Exactly a minute, Daryl McCoy. Great job. Braden took the handoff. Here, here comes Miss uh, Hot Rod Holly. Yeah, Holly. She's running a great 400. Now you go. Now you go. Go. 118. He held her a little long. He said, don't go yet. He held her a little bit. Great time. He's going to get a little over a minute, Daryl. It looks like about a minute 04. This is a great run here with no competition. Yeah, 207. Got to love it. Chloe Crace. Chloe on the turn for the Ooh. girls. for a sub four for the boys. The girls right now, 241, there two laps to go. Kylie Hall, and now this girl, she can absolutely go, coach. Now, let's see. Let's check back in with the boy runner. All right. 
All right. They're at 311, 312, 315. Let's see what they can do. Can they get 410 or under? 410 or yeah. under? Come on. Brody Buck's the man to do it. Let's see if he can get it. 410 or under would be a great run with no competition. There he goes. He turned it on, Daryl McCoy. I like it. Nice stride. Here's Kylie Hall. She's going to hand off to Kennedy Harville yeah. here. One lap to go for the young ladies. They're at 356 on the handoff. Oh, here we come on the close, yeah. Daryl. Harville a little slow on the handoff there. Can they get 415 or they're under? 415 or under? No competition. You got to love it. Oh, he's running. He wants that PR, 410. coach. 411, 413, 414, 415, 416. Yeah. Right at 417. Thomas has Kennedy Harville on the backside there. 501 is Floyd Central's PR with this group. So uh, going to be outside shot. She has a small ch chance of getting it um, at 435 right now, 200 meters to go. Last event. Ladies and gentlemen, we're so happy to have been able to bring you this. The closing event of the night. Kennedy Harville. Yeah, here she comes down the stretch. She says, I, I'm on D&D Sports and I'm gonna set my PR right here. She's gonna finish it out. Yeah. Finish D&D Sports Network night out, track night. There she is. Great Five, run. 514 unofficially, ladies and gentlemen. No competition, but guess what? First place points. Wow. And uh, just preparing for region, Daryl McCoy. Yep. Great run there. Great run by them all there. Yeah. But the, uh, as we're going to sit here, Coach Kevin Keithley, I mean, just a, a, a great day all around here at Prestonsburg High School. This track event, you know, for us, for our first one, it went off without a hit. I, that's what I was going to say, and I said that a couple times throughout the night. For it to be the first time, right, uh, angles, uh, the technicalities of it, I believe we did a heck of a job bringing it to you. Uh, I think we got 90% of it covered. There may yeah. be some aspects, but all in all, Unbelievable night. I'm proud to have been a part of it, Daryl McCoy. This man yeah. right here, <laughs> Thomas Rainey, uh, on the other side right now, uh, bringing his camera over. Um, yeah. I can't thank those guys enough because, listen, I live and breathe track and field with my kids, and I know how much it means to parents that you're giving them this platform. Well, I'm sure Miss Leanne, you know, uh, you know, maybe one time have her come up and call an event with yeah, us. Yeah, you're right. She would be a good one. Yeah, you're right. So they, uh, you know, it, it was, you know, we seen a lot of good athletes. You know, this was our first time. Next time, we'll try to have cameras on every event. And, uh, yeah. you know, we may be able to even take and put, like, where the long jumps are, put them up where our scoreboard normally is in the corner so people can watch what's going right. on in them, their knees. And, uh, you know, but this right here for the first time, these kids right here, you know, they got the notoriety they deserve. They put in as much work as any other sport, and they deserve the recognition. Well, you're right. Uh, I've said it again. Sometimes overlooked. Sometimes the spotlight is elsewhere. Not anymore with D and D Sports Network. Your time has came, track and field. Your time has came. Those people that put the grind time in, those people that put those lonely hours in. No more. You're going to be recognized for it. You know where you're going to be recognized for it? The D and D Sports Network. And was it any surprise that it was going to be the D and D Sports Network? Shouldn't have been. Well, the, you know, we're the number one source for mountain sport and news for a reason you know and uh you know this right here is just the latest example you know i mean if there's sports going on we're going to be there in the mountains i mean that's what you know we we're here to raise up the athletes and the mountain in general you know we stick together we can make it in this uh neck of the woods so coach kevin keithley Thomas Rainey, listen, it's cold. I'd sit here and talk all yeah. day. You know you usually have to shut me up, but I'm ready to get out of here, guys. Get in that warm house, but thanks for tuning in. Coach Keithley, uh, you never know where you see us again, never but 1230 tomorrow, we know we will be at Paintsville High School. Kobe Fugit signing. Make sure you tune in, and then, uh, you know, we'll try to get you a game or two coming this next uh, week. But until then, 
So long and good night here on the D&D Sports Network. Oh, we're still going to hit yeah. jumpers. You better believe it. <laughs> right there. All night. All night. Daryl McCoy. There we go. Yeah.